Hair Care Company. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. Today is November 26, 2022, the day after, what, Black Friday? Yes, yeah, day after Black Friday. So I'm in the salon working today. So we are going to be um, shampooing my client. We are also going to be doing a purple hair color on her. So she's the first client of the day. Um, and we'll be using our new B7 Beyond collection for her hair, which is a volumizing shampoo. And we have a new biotin hair mask that I'll also be putting on her hair. Um, we're going to let it sit on her hair for about five minutes. And then we'll be doing her purple color. So you guys will get to see the order. Is it too warm? Okay. You guys will get to see the order of how you do a semi-permanent hair color and a deep conditioner all at the same time. Now, she is high porosity. Why? Because she is fully relaxed. Okay. So we are going to do her mask for five minutes and then we will do her um, color right after. So whenever you're doing any form of semi-permanent color, you do want to make sure that you do all of your deep conditioning first. And then from your deep conditioning, you start doing your color. You don't want to do it the opposite way. So I can tell she just freshly got a relaxer. So I'm not going to do a clarifying shampoo. I'm going to go, hey, pack, going to go straight into our B7 Beyond Biotin Volumizing Shampoo. Okay. This is the one I tell you it smells like Jolly Ranchers, like apple Jolly Ranchers or sour apple. Turn y'all down so you can see. There we go. Hey, Tanetta. Hello to my YouTube members. So the B7 Beyond shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner are currently sold out. But the good thing is yesterday, we did drop our two newest products, which is our biotin hair mask. That's what we're going to use on her today. And then we also dropped our new and improved edge repair and restoration cream. You guys are used to that product being a two-part system where now we have created a one-part system and you are able to pair it with any one of our water-based serums rather than you having to buy an entire kit. When we say a kit, meaning two products that have to be used simultaneously. So this is why we have um, created an easier way for you guys to be able to repair that hairline, get that stagnated hair growth, and really get those edges growing. So the new edge repair and restoration cream is a part of the B7 line. I'm gonna wash your ear off, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a part of the B7 line because it also contains biotin. Our original formula, which we've had for years, did not contain any biotin. So now our new edge repair contains biotin as well as tropical butter blend. So it has kapasu butter, mira mira. Um, it also has babasu seed oil in it. So it has a bunch of different um, nutrients and vitamins for the hairline. All right, so we're going to put our B7 hair mask on her hair. This is going to sit for about five minutes. When did you do that last Meryl? Like two days ago? Mm. <laughs> I can tell because that's why I'm like, okay. You yeah. guys notice I only did one shampoo, so yeah. she relaxed. I can tell her hair is so fresh. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, okay, I'm not going to do too many shampoos because that will lessen the life of the relaxer and start to dry the hair out. So you guys also keep that in mind if you're shampooing your hair after a fresh relaxer. But you don't want to do too much shampooing regardless if it's, if it's sulfate-free or not. Okay, you want to minimize how much shampooing you do because then you run the risk of dehydrating the hair. So this is the B7 Beyond hair mask that is on her hair. And we released it during our Black Friday sale yesterday. So it's actually on our regular site, which is the Elite Hair Care USA site. But we have a bundle pack or bundle kit it's like an intro deal that's on sale where you get both the biotin hair mask and the new edge restoration cream for $27. Um, but it is only available 
on our Elite Friday sale, which is on our Elite Total Body Care website. So if you go to EliteTotalBodyCare.com and go to the Elite Friday Doorbusters, you will see the intro deal where you can get both. So today we're going to be using some Joico. So we're going to be doing a Joico purple on her hair. So I'm going to allow this to sit on her hair for about five minutes, and then we're going to apply her purple all over her hair. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. So while she's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and get my color ready. So this is actually a semi-permanent color, you guys. So it's not permanent, it's semi-permanent. Morning. Morning. All right, let me take this part off. These colors are really stainy. So you definitely want to make sure you wear gloves with these. These are actually not available to the public, but if you do find Joico Intensity colors, they are definitely, like, they're really good colors. But these are colors that you definitely want to put on the hair when it's dry. Semi-permanent colors are technically supposed to be applied to dry hair. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it with the Joico colors today. So these are called Color Intensity, as I was saying. And they are all semi-permanent. So you can't really see it right now, but this is purple. It's really dark. But when I put it on her hair, um, she is also, she has some, some silver streaks in her hair. Those silver streaks really do pick up that color really well. So you guys will be able to see once she is dry and being styled, that is when you'll really see the color. Alexa, how much time is left? How are you? How was your thing see? It was good. Did you shop till you dropped? Yeah, I did a little shopping. I was so tired. I shopped online. I didn't even know where I was Me and my kids sat at the table during Thanksgiving dinner, and we went through each Black Friday sale that we cared about. And we bought whatever we needed. We were done eating. This was at my sister's house. So we had already ate our dinner. And then we went to my sister's house and ate a little bit more. And then we were sitting at the table. So they wanted Fashion Nova and Sheen. And then Sheen. 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 I don't give a damn. Sheen. Whoever. Shen Young. I don't care. They was on there because I don't like this stuff. This stuff is just not good to me. It just never comes out right inside. Yeah, so they got that Bath and Body Works had buy three, get three. Mm -hmm. So I bought my candles. I love their candles. And then Alex, Alex bought her, um, she loves their um, body lotion. She loves lotion. I love the body lotion. You know, the spray. Well, she doesn't like this. She has a ton of the spray. Mm -hmm. She likes the lotion. Alex uses lotion all day long. Alexa, stop. She uses it all day long. So she bought, they spent their own money though. So then they went on um, Fashion Nova. So we were on Fashion Nova and they got some a couple items on there. And then yesterday, Foot Locker was having 40% off. So I bought a bunch of shoes for Christian because every pair of shoes Christian owns is either creased or looks like he got them seven years ago. <laughs> he got a pair of Air Forces not even three months ago. He wore those shoes, I think, maybe three times. So and like they that, look old. Like when kids try to do no, my, my older ones do that. Christian, Christian, those those shoes could be Louis Vuitton exclusive, one one out of 17 pair in the country, and he don't care. It's so crazy how they walk. It's like, why are you going to get these shoes if you can't even walk? Adriana, Adriana will leave the little cardboard her. insert to burn her toes. So crazy. Listen, yeah. listen, she drives me nuts. We call it walking like a duck. You can sit in my chair. <laughs> So she got, she got, she didn't get a pair of shoes, but Alex got a pair of shoes and I got seven pairs of shoes for Christian yesterday. 40% off. Well, they already were marked at 
And then Junie is a, a Jordan 1's person. So his goal is that he needs to have 24 pair, no, 23 pair to match the number 23. So I think he's at like 20. So I got him another pair last night. So now I think I think that'll be 21 or 22. He said when he gets to 23, he's stopping. So why didn't you just get, they were 40% off? They weren't, Jordans are never, oh, not the ones. Good. The ones oh, would okay. never be on a sale. And the ones are exclusive. So if you don't get the pair when it's out, you won't get them again. So he got those next February of 2023, the Boston Celtics pair releases. I want that pair. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for that pair to drop. I'm getting that pair. He has every other color you can think of. Though. The right mortgage, right? No, if you get them, like some of them can be 125, some can be 225. No some, it depends on which pair it is. Oh. So it so comes in different dog, types. If you get them on StockX and stuff, yes, and some of them, if that, that's why I try to get them when the pair releases rather than when it's not available. Once it's not available, that's when they start selling them for four and five hundred dollars. Right. So I wait until they literally drop them and get them then. Remind me about the Celtics one. My son. Yeah, the Celtics one. Listen, the Celtics, and it's a pair that they're not gonna bring back. So I'm getting them. Your son likes the Celtics. He he was a Rondo fan when Rondo was with them. So, you know, I'm not a Celtics anybody. I don't even care about basketball. <laughs> but because Junie had us doing that Boston Celtics Lakers thing, now I need those shoes. I have to get them now. So when I saw that, I'm like, okay, that's the one pair of ones that I must have. I'm going to get those. But he's a, a superior, like, severe ones fan. Christian is too, but Christian's ones look like they were released in 1902. <laughs> so none of his are in good condition. Christian don't care. I even have to tell him, like, son, you can't wear these to school. He's like, but why? <laughs> and then he'll put them on and come back home. Oh, that's your youngest, right? Yeah, that's my son. He's, he'll come back home from school, and I just know that that's the last time that those shoes will be worn again. So I've been saving a pair of ones that he had for over a year. He wore them on Thanksgiving. And they're still in good condition, so they're going to go back in the box. <laughs> so I can save it for when you need to get dressed nice. No, just when he needs to get dressed nice, he has a pair of shoes that he hasn't ate and like, torn apart to death. Oh, so he's already wore those. He wore them Thanksgiving Day the first uh, time. I said you bought them Thanksgiving. Mm -mm. No, he wore those on Thanksgiving. But they were an odd color. It wasn't a color that you can wear with anything. I had to yeah. figure out how to. How to Are they bright colors? They're beige. It's like a beige peach with red and white. So that's why he wore those. Because it's it's not a pair that he can wear on a regular. You have nothing to match it. So last night I bought him. I started buying him cheap shoes. His dad be wanting to buy them stupid ones and all that stuff. He got Adidas. He got anything that was under 50 bucks. I bought a pair. And if it was nice, I got him those. Because Christian has no care on the planet. He don't care about this stuff. Only if you're older or a toddler. Mm -hmm. My little toddler, she got her Jordans and stuff because they're cheap. Because, you know. With for little kids, yeah, it's cheaper. Super cheap, twenty, thirty dollars, and they don't crease them because she barely walks them. Uh oh, Christian crease anything, everything. Mm -hmm. They are in the building this morning. Honey. Yes, they are. To the first one. All right, so I'm applying her purple. Let me turn you guys this way. called joyco intensity i'll put it in the amazon store so you guys can get it it's a really good color it's nice and thick um if you're trying to cover gray you definitely want to make sure that you either towel dry the hair extremely well or you blow dry your hair so that it's dry if you guys remember the other day i was talking about negative and positive charges hair color works with a negative and positive charge, specifically semi-permanent color. So you need to have the opposite of each and they bind to each other. That's how semi-permanent works. How you create that charge on the hair is when you blow dry the hair. If you ever notice when you blow dry or you dry something, you get something called static. That's considered a charge. It's called a charge, right? So when you do that, they bind together and that is what makes the color really pop and makes the color adhere to the hair, specifically, as I said, semi-permanent colors. 
So you want to create what we call, they call them anchor sites. Anchor sites is what comes from those positive and negative charges. When there's an anchor site, the color adheres. I know that's a lot of chemistry. Didn't think I would ever use it in life, but now I'm using it in hair color. And I hated chemistry. And it's really good for, for those who have like salt and pepper and you want a nice vibrant color. Joyco colors work really well. Now they're not the color that I would go to if you're trying to cover gray 100%. This just gives you a very nice hue and it really is pigmented. So if you even have dark colored hair, it's going to pigment all of the hair. And then that gray hair is going to basically pick up whatever color it is that you put on. As long as it's not super resistant here. All right, so my color is on. I'm gonna get a comb and just comb through her hair, Alexa. That timer for 20 minutes. Lifetime Thursday come around, I won't have any. So. Alright, so I just combed through it. I'm just gonna push it all together. So you guys see that purple? It's not, you gotta use the Meyer soap that's on the counter here. Yep, use that one. I gotta come with you in here because you gotta use my phone to turn oh, on yeah. the watcher. You can go. You can load it though. I'll come. Okay. All right. So she's gonna sit with that color. Myra. It's Myra. Mm -hmm. And you're Alex, right? Yes. I thought I was trying to remember which one you're like, because Matt told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got to remember because of the service shampoo she was on her lips and Matt's your client. So. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You gotta be working with her. Oh, the first time. Mm-hmm. When I was here. So you guys actually cannot get Joyco color intensity on Amazon. They are not playing. They made sure that that color is not touching this website here. It is a pro only color, so I kind of figured, but even Pravana has vivids on here. That's a shocker. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Joyco, they don't play. It's giving me purple rain. All right, Pack. Oh, no, <laughs> he just always says that. I don't know. I've never understood either. <laughs> so Foot Locker extended their 40% sale. So it's already marked the prices. They, they've extended it. Mm -hmm. So they extended it today. Our sales, which is our buy one, get one sales. Those are going all the way through Monday at midnight. Really, girl? Your fetch points? Yeah. Or use the fetch, um, fetch Visa gift card. Because, you know, the Visa you can use anywhere. So if they don't have the foot locker card, I don't see it now up to 40%. Let's see. Let me go on this fetch and see what I have so far. I have to go and upload my um my new receipts from things that I just got. So right now, ooh, look at that. I'm at 49,886 points. I'm accumulating my points. I need 100,000 points. For a lot of no, not yet, because everybody on my lives have not gone and used my fetch link. I need everybody to go and use my fetch link, download fetch, and scan a receipt so you can get 2,000 points and I can get some points too. Moon Spice will restock it in December, you guys. When it goes the same day you restock it. I know. People be getting excited. They do. <clears throat> Let's check my e-receipts because I know I did some shopping for the last couple of days. I don't really use that Amazon, but Amazon does not pull up into mine. Mm. It's not, it doesn't pull in any of my orders through Amazon. I don't know why. And you have it connected? Hmm? It don't pull anything in. Yes, Gail. I'm glad you're using it. Where do you buy stuff with the points? You redeem them. So you can redeem them for gift cards. Like, um, Nicole, she redeemed hers for Starbucks. Yeah, no, doesn't it? Isn't it available right then and there? Yeah, they, send, they so, say within 24 hours, but I get mine in two minutes. There you go. So, all your diff gift cards are digital, so you don't actually get a gift card in the mail, it's coming directly to your phone. See? All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna wait. It's fetching all of my Amazon stuff, which it always acts like it's fetching so much and it's fetching nothing. Mm -hmm. It always acts like it's fetching just a ton of stuff out of Amazon, and then it says, you have zero at the end. With the little dog, right? 
Mm-hmm. Or when you scan a receipt, you think you about to get 2,000 yeah. points. And it's like, cha-ching! It's 25 points. <laughs> Hey! I did um yesterday. They were giving five thousand points per person. Okay. It was refer a friend. You get five thousand points. That was yesterday for Black Friday. Oh, yeah. So I got twenty five points for Menchies on in. I did Instacart, Chinese food twenty five points, and Foot Locker twenty five points. So I got those points. Okay. All right. So I'll show you guys what I mean when I say you get. Points, okay, so there's mine. I have 49,000 points right there. It's nothing that I'm paying for through them, right? I don't pay for anything through them, but these are the different rewards that you can get. So let me see. I'm at 49. Let's say I get to 50,000 points. I can get a $25 gift card for red, um, $25 off of baskets.com, $25 off of flowers.com. Pet supplies, I can get an Adidas gift card, advanced auto parts, Airbnb, um, posters, Amazon. Ooh, I can get a $25 gift card for Amazon. I'm holding on. I need to get the 50. So I only need 40 more points right. to get 50,000. I can get that $50 gift card on Amazon. I'll hold out. American Red Cross, Applebee's. Ooh, Apple, because I need to order two sets of AirPods. Because Junie keeps seem, he seems to throw his in the garbage somewhere. I don't know how. Bath and Body Works, Bed Bath Beyond, Best Buy, Bloom Brands, Bonefish. Listen, all these different things, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and put my little fetch code here, okay? So I need you guys to just go ahead. How do I do it? Uh, here we go. Refer a friend. I need everybody to screenshot this, Okay. Or you can go into the description box and then you'll show, I'll show you guys. So I have a link as well. Let's go to the link, refer a friend. This link is inside my thing. So if you go to my link tree, so if you go to my YouTube, right where you guys are, close your chat because no, all of y'all are sitting there just talking to me and carrying on in there. So if you go to right here, you're going to hit that little X button. You guys are all in here in the comments, right? Hit that little X and then hit more. When you hit more, this link takes you to my link tree. The link tree gives you all of my different sales. So this will take you to getting all of the elite hair care sales, including the new biotin mask and the edge restoration cream. Okay, that link takes you there. Then we have the elite Friday sale, flat irons, my YouTubes. If you go all the way down where it says sign up, for fetch to get points for all purchases. You click that and it will take you to sign up for my fetch. What okay, grade, sir? <laughs> well, you're welcome. Grace. So yes, you guys go right now. Okay, go. Right. And, yeah. See? The queen of discounts is telling you guys, please use my link so you get points and I get points. The moment you scan your first receipt, you automatically get 2,000 points. That's $2. Remind you guys, this is free. So this is just money back from stuff that you're doing on a regular day. I literally scan any receipt that I see now. I have an addiction to scanning my receipts. And it's not my fault. No. I scan my receipts. I do not play. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. How was Thanksgiving? It was good. It was good. Did you do a lot of cooking? Not so much. I was done in two or three hours. I even did braids on Thanksgiving. I was still done before everybody else. Oh, my. Excuse me. Thank you. So, Ms. you getting a silk press? Um, That's what you got, right? What did I get the last time? I don't know. Uh, Let me see here. Wash and... Yeah, silk press. Okay. Thank All you. Right. So, so, go ahead and sit oh, at the shampoo okay. bowl. Oh, good. Oh, you got helping hands. I do. Wow. Oh. All that in a bag of chips. <laughs> Ask them, I'm a little bit more. <laughs> did, you, did you throw in a cook? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> you, threw in a, you threw that in right? That's not trash, but I'll take that. Okay. It's so actually towels. Oh, okay. I'll oh, let it it's down. right here. Yes. Right. Thank you very much. All right, so for... I'm going to have you mix it with some other shampoo. Okay. 
purple. Where is it? My purple bottle is that this around you. Oh, right here. Okay, so you're gonna use the moist repair shampoo. Moist okay. repair conditioner. Mm -hmm. But each one you're gonna well just the shampoo, you're gonna mix it with some of this. Yeah, mix it together. And then put it for both of her shampoos, you're gonna do two. Okay. okay. Two shampoos. Two of the same way. And then the conditioner. Okay. Yeah. But don't put that in the conditioner. Oh, this yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my blow dryer came. Yes, it, it came on Thursday. So they replaced my dryer that broke. I get to use my actual blow dryer today. Now, don't get me wrong. My twin turbo, I would never throw away. It is a great blow dryer, but this one has that comb attachment and I don't work as hard with this one. Pack, you don't have to scan it. Just go into the description box and go to my link tree. You can get a link instead of scanning it. Scanning it is if you guys are, you can't scan it if you take a picture of it, you guys. Can't, can't scan QR codes if you take pictures of them. So just go to the link in the description box of this live. And then all you do is click the link and it will show you how to download the app. For you to download the app and then every time you use that same link now you refer somebody else to yourself and you get points and they get points and then those points are free points and then you start accumulating points and you let them accumulate so right now i'm working towards a 50 dollar gift card to use on someone it looks like someone just went ahead and did it let's see yes Paul Cook, I need you to go and scan one receipt. I don't care if it is a receipt that had one dollar on it. Scan it. For every receipt you scan, you get a minimum of 25 points. So I need you to scan one receipt, please and thank you. So scan a receipt. Myra, you got that? Um, I feel like I do. I have to check. I feel like my daughter put me on to that. But I'm bad with scanning. Girl, all you got to do is scan a receipt. You get 25 points. If you shop a lot, that's a free $50. Okay. Yes, Virginia. So, like, when I went grocery shopping the other day, they had a promo where if you get General Mills and all these things... They give you 10,000 points. And it just so happened that Publix was buy one, get one free that day. And I bought six boxes of cereal. So I ended up getting 10,000 points. $10 for something you were going to buy anyway. And, any, and I got three boxes for free, but it still scanned them as I purchased yeah. General Mills cereal. Don't you think I get my points for penny items and free items? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, what's the code for the, the UK site? Is EliteHairCareUK.com. All of my links are also in that description box down below, you guys. If you close your chat, the first link you see, it brings you to... You have it? No, don't download it. No, let me give you my link. You're going to scan it. Oh, oh, oh. That's why you telling me to tell them that because they're going to go download it. Don't go download it, you guys. Use my link, please. Refer a friend. Here, scan that. Go to your camera. I can type in the referral code, but once they download it and put in their email address and stuff, they're not going to get the points, then you're not either. I did it from my other phone the other night. Um, you can just use your app. It's easy. Hit continue. And then do your thing. Okay. Uh-oh. This phone, I'll be dropping it. Uh, yes. Because I don't have a case on my laptop. Thank God, because... Like, it's just normal now. I never used I just be putting whatever I'll birthday child. Like, really? I've got your It doesn't send you like texts and I don't really get anything from those. It's just totally destroyed now. Sorry, I have a different I hope so. I'm sure we are now. Because I need another iPhone with Android and Cutting it. <laughs> and I was I was seeing Android before iPhone and once I got the iPhone, yeah, I didn't want to go back. Oh my, I better not yeah. try it. Yeah, I like yeah. Android. 
in the frame development here too. So you get 2,000 points automatically. Yes. And then all you have to do is scan. You got a receipt in your purse? You know scan something you got in your purse. As long as it's a receipt. Yep, scan that one. So all you do is uncrumble it. And then just hold it up. Hit the little button there. That one, yep. Hit scan. Oh, snap. Snap. Okay. Yeah, that's what Hold it out like that. Hold it back a little bit. So it can get more and it'll tell you if it picked up everything it did and then hit submit. And then automatically it's going to give you 25 points minimum. And then if it's something that's like a special thing, sometimes it'll give you 1,000 points, 5,000 points. Scan them all. So actually it gave you 3,000 points for your micro receipt. Oh, okay. There you go. So now you got 3,000 points. That equates to three dollars, so you can use it. So, like, let's say you want to redeem the rewards after a while, it'll tell you the different things you can redeem for three thousand points. Mm -hmm. And then it sends you an electronic gift card. Alexa, stop. Oh, okay. And they add up fast if you scan those receipts because I don't buy anything with cash off Amazon anymore. I sent all my points to Amazon. I linked the account. Thank you, Virginia. See, it says Myra. I got friendship points. <laughs> I'm now at 53,000 points. I need y'all to go and get my. I need to get to 100,000 points before today's life. <laughs> and if you buy a lot of General Mills items, that right now they're giving away 3,000 points for any $35 you spend. 3,000 points is $3. I'm a pro at this now. And they can use food stamps or WIC. Oh, there you are. Stuff. I would never use it on WIC. WIC, I don't pay no, anything. No, no. Why, why would they I use it on WIC? They can buy their stuff with food stamps or WIC and still steal Oh, and still get the, the points. points yes. Man, I should have had it when I had that PEBT card. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was $1,100 worth of groceries. <laughs> it's empty now. Now I ain't got nothing. So a lot of people don't know that with the WIC receipt because they look different. Yeah, they do. That they don't. All right, so back to my blow dryer. So Dyson replaced my blow dryer, and they actually send me a brand new one in the box. I can't find it, so where I need to go? Tanetta, it's not that hard. Listen. <laughs> Let me show you again. Close your chat, Tanetta. Okay, let me show you once more. Y'all know I like points. Close your chat, okay? So if you are in YouTube right now, let me find my YouTube. Where is it? There we are. If you go to my YouTube right now, we're on the video right now, right? Right here where you guys would be in the chat, you're going to close out your chat and then hit that little, the X button, and you'll see it says more right here. Click more, and you'll see the link right here. This is my first link. This link takes you to my Amazon store. It takes you to my Fetch. It takes you to my website. It takes you to Elite Hair Care Canada. It takes you to Elite Hair Care UK everybody you click that link and it brings you here okay this gives you all the links that you guys hear me talking about flat irons flames up my youtube channels all of that the fetch is down here at the bottom that's it that is all it's real easy but for those of you that are also looking for our distributors that same link gives you all of my distributors i have all the links created for you guys where you don't have to be typing in things you don't have to do any of that the Elite Friday sale links are at the top. The Elite Hair Care USA products. You notice that they're all right here? It shows you the different products. Elite Hair Care Canada. If you click here, it takes you to Elite Hair Care Canada. Now look at that site, honey. Look at that site. Oh my. Look at that. Black Friday sale. Get a free serum when you purchase any selected. And 30% off. Now, come on. Come on. Elite Hair Care Canada, they played no games. None. Okay? Same thing. Elite Hair Care UK. If it says Europe and Africa. Right here. Okay? Can you show us how to get into the Fetch app again? It's easy. So, I'm going to close out my YouTube. You guys are on YouTube. It's already there for you. 
you click here you go to my youtube you're gonna see my video you click my video right now it's gonna show us that we're in the chat okay i'm in the chat with you guys right here right close out your chat hit the little button that says more this is the description box more the first link brings you to all of my links okay you guys don't have to work hard to do anything even my amazon store is there our flat irons page is there flames up is there remember today through monday the men's hair care and beard care bundle is 29 dollars. then you click down here where it says sign up for fetch and you click that and it will teach you how to sign up it's real simple real real simple okay that's it all right so i'm gonna take off the paper off of this so they took my old dryer they didn't ask for any of my accessories back nope they still sent me everything brand spanking new take this little piece of paper out of here everything brand new like i just bought it they even send new attachments with it they didn't even want the attachments back the moment it went in the mail and it shows that it i used their ups label and it scanned they sent me the new one so tonetta when you download fetch scan your first receipt find a receipt that you've had within the last 15 days it don't matter if the receipt was for 22 cents scan the receipt all you do is hit the little thing at the bottom that says scan and when you scan your first receipt you get an extra thousand points because it's your first receipt and you get two thousand points because i referred you so automatically you get three thousand three dollars automatically and then every receipt you scan you get a minimum of 25 points some of them will be more it, it just depends all right let's see what else came in this beautiful box all right oh man they didn't give me this little i got the new dyson so they give me a little um heat mat that i need anyway because i keep burning up my station so i'm going to use that one i got a new diffuser which i already have one it even comes with a little whatever this thing is so you can hang it I don't know what I'm hanging, but okay. Oh, this one came with the new stuff. So I got a new concentrator. And this one is even skinnier than my other one. And then I got a wider concentrator. And then they send you a new filter. And then all of these books that I actually threw away the first time I got this blow dryer. So I need it. So now I can add all of these new goodies to my old goodies so I have my little basket and my little stand so I have my basket here just in case I lose my other diffuser then I have my concentrators so I have two now two concentrators can never go wrong this one is actually slightly skinnier and I have this one I didn't even have this one before now I have a new filter need that the split ender and then i have my comb attachment these i actually bought on amazon so these actually go in like that the hair balm actually restocked already the hair balm is restocked for those of you that ordered during the elite friday sale we are still processing those orders thank you for that question um dorothy we're actually still processing those orders so labels have printed we printed orders labels everything but we did that for the purpose of saving time so rather than it taking us 14 days to ship a bunch of stuff it's now taking us a matter of about a week and a half to ship a bunch of stuff so your stuff should be processing this week um, we have the labels ready. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be ahead of the game because it takes us longer if we have to actually print labels first. Okay, if we have to print the labels and do all of that, 
then it literally will take us 14 days to fill all of these orders. So now Tabitha does all the labels. Tabitha is our customer service worker. She is who you guys talk to whenever you have an issue, yeah, whatever. Yeah, there, that's what I was so Tabitha is actually working the weekend. That's why you guys are sometimes getting tracking numbers saying your order shipped on the weekend when it's really gonna go out next week. But she is pre-doing all of the orders so that all we're doing is running off labels. So we do 50 labels at a time. And those 50 labels, as long as we don't have to set them up and do all of that stuff, we can spend seven hours just shipping orders. Um, that's a good you know, conditioning and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a little bit of the moist repair leave-in spray. Spray, not that one. That's how just how just. Yep, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then your rope twister. Too close. Step back. Yep. That's good. Perfect. And then detangle her rope twister, and then she'll go under the dryer. Mm -hmm. Can I use my online receipt yesterday from Elite Total Body Care? So it doesn't work for online receipts um, unless your email is connected. If your email is connected and it's a company that it recognizes, then yes. I got to figure out how to get my company on fetch. That's my next thing. You scanned your receipts? You done? Okay, make sure you go home and scan all your receipts. Yeah, I have a bunch. So I bought this Dyson stand on Amazon. So I put my Dyson there and then I just plug it in. And then my attachments, some of them can fit on here. So like my diffuser, it's magnetic. So my diffuser fits there. My comb attachment fits there. One of my concentrators can fit there. And then it sits over here rather than me throwing things around like I normally do. I spoke too soon, but it fits, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my other baby back, back in retirement. So I'm gonna put my twin turbo. You guys know I love this blow dry. This is why I still have it. Out of any blow dry that I have, I still have this one. Somebody said they were gonna detangle my, my cords. Um, but we but. just left right after that, you was ready to go. I thought about it when we left. They did not detangle my cords, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. She doesn't have to detangle me. It's fine. Yeah. Good help is so hard to find, guys. I'm She knows that this can cause like a potential electrical fire, but she still won't detangle me. She's going to go back into hibernation just in case I ever need her again. <laughs> we just plug in my little dice in here because she's back. Does she work? Let's test her. You heard that? Yeah. It would have been hilarious if it didn't work. I would be pissed off. So for it. <laughs> Listen, I needed that blow dryer. I do not like to use the roller brush anymore. Once I got to that Dyson and I saw that the brush really, the, the comb worked the way it did, never could you ever get me the hand will dry like that again. So I'm just gonna keep the box because it's spoiled and get used to it. You don't want to go back. You don't. I actually use the boxes to keep the dryers from hitting the wall. Okay, and this what's the name of the brain? Can you take the cross for those two? Nope. I'll cover that box. You can't even see those boxes. She gonna see it. So yeah, but Jennifer got issues. <laughs> she gonna see it. <laughs> Yep, we've extended our up to 40% off sale. It continues. They already priced the items. I should go buy Christian more shoes. Should buy him shoes for all his all, all next year school year. Foot 
Mm-hmm. See, Tanetta just downloaded Fetch and got her first receipt and got 3,012 points. Now I must go to my fetch because I should be at a hundred thousand by now. Mm -hmm. Which is equivalent to hey, I got twelve thousand more points actually. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, Denine. Thank you, Tanetta. <laughs> is that's enough apps? I, I got no more time for no more apps. Fetch is enough. If I scan, you know, from a business standpoint, if I scanned all of my receipts like that in my QuickBooks, my taxes would be amazing. But no, I do it on Fetch for points. Forget the government. I just do it for points. I'm going to get better, you guys. I promise. I promise. I'm going to get better. It will. I'm going to scan my QuickBooks receipts, too. Oh, my. You're looking at the shoes. Oh, let me see that one. Ooh, those are 90, but those are those. I have a pair of dumps. They look bulky on you. But I want a pair, but I can't find them. Those are dunks. I know I mean in the store. No, you don't get them in the store. Dunks that you don't get them? They're not very often. You might you might find it's just like the ones. It's a specific kind. Yeah. Kind of time. I want to grab that. I don't want to. Okay. I'm gonna have you well to sir. Okay. Right here. Let me rinse out um my you can come. You want me to first or this or right this one? So I'm going to use cool water to rinse her. I'm going to put on a gloves as well because <sighs> my fingers are always stained up in some fashion. I'm also trying to figure out how to put a retail shelf in here, and I don't know how. I might put it above the refrigerator. No, I think oh, yeah. I'm going to put like a shelf there mm -hmm. and go up. Like the whole corner, take those off and put them in between there. Yeah. And then put all the retail there so I can stock everything. Yeah. Stock everything. I thought about putting something on the ground, but it's it's not enough space in here for me. That's too much. You know, like the place is cluttered. Alright, so cool water.
Who's the other lady? Which other lady is this? Two other ladies in here. They're talking about you. Got to be someone new. I don't know. Some maybe somebody new that hasn't been online. I don't think they saw her, but she came in. Oh. All right, so I'm going to spray some Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray on her hair. Cutting this off? Yeah, what are these things? You know, I like it the way. I know. All right, so we're going to give her a haircut on the sides and the back. Um, just put on like 20, 30, 20, 30. I'm just to drag some of the water up. Can you guys see the vibrancy of her purple? When it's dry, you'll definitely see it. Right now, her hair is wet, so. Oh, the, um, no. So I had to cheer out a little bit. Yep, right there. And then, Shade, if you go to the, go to the, um, the laundry, start with, we'll put it in the, in the dryer right above it, but it's number four. Okay. And just press number four, and it'll say you can start it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then just hit go, but you gotta set the dryer first. Mo, well, Myra wasn't here from last week. Did you say the hair bomb is back in stock because I didn't see it? Mavis, yes, the hair bomb is back in stock unless it's sold out overnight. It's back in stock. already right yeah okay just like, hit go but you, like the high temp, so. yeah and then when you hit when you press start on there it'll press go on there okay or press go first and then it'll make you hit start you'll hear start beeping Grace on here? Or Pat? Pat, can you go on my website for me and check to see if the hair balm is on there? On the Elite Hair Care site? Does anyone know who the other worker is? I haven't seen her before. That's Sade, Jason. Oh, hi, Jason. I do work by myself, but I finally got an assistant, so I don't have to work by myself on some days. <laughs> you have to 
All right, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting down her sides and her back. I use the clippers first to kind of take down this area really, really low, and then I'm just blending. Myra's like me. We don't like hair to stick up on the sides and the back. It's just not cute. Your shortcut can't be cute like that. And Myra's had her short hair longer than me. I met her with short hair. Man, Myra's been through all stages of life. She met me when I was pregnant. Christian is nine. Because I didn't, I don't have vaginal deliveries. I had cesarean, so I knew when I was having mine. Oh. So I just worked till the end because I knew I wasn't, I wasn't gonna be able to work when I had him. And at that time, I didn't have hair products. I didn't have a backup plan. I just had prayer. <laughs> and they, my um, the salon suite that I was in, they were like, "Listen, we'll let you keep your suite, and you won't have to pay. We just lock the door. Most places, you gotta pay, or you moving out." Oh, nice. And they held my suite the whole time. And then when I got back to work, when I tell you when I got back to work, I was booked every single week. I didn't have another struggling day in that salon. There's no brand, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I have no brand in the shears. I actually got these shears at the hair show. I don't really care about shear brands. I'm, I'm not one of those kinds of stylists. As long as they cut and as long as I can sharpen them, I don't really care about anything else. Some people are like, oh, these are Hanzo's. And, Sweetheart, listen, I don't care about that. There's no real, that, that don't have value to me. Because any pair of shears can be sharpened and made into an amazing pair. Now, there's some that are trash. Don't get me wrong. But the ones that I have, like, I take really good care of my shears, too. I've seen people buy $800 shears, and they cut like crap. Faye, if you go to um, the description box, so just close out your chat, Faye. And then when you, see, when you close out your chat, right under the title of the video, you'll see the word more. Click the first link that pops up when you click more. You'll see the first link in the description box. And then that'll take you to all of my links. And at the bottom, you'll see where it says fetch. She all right, y'all. She all right. Okay, that's all. She saved me a couple dollars, you know? She gives me a little fetch and stuff. She puts me on to the cheeky stuff. You know, she saves me pennies and stuff. No, she does good, you guys. I try. I mean, that's 
She has amnesia most of the time. Yeah. But it's okay. Thank you, Grace. So Grace said the BOGO sale. So we had bomb, hair bomb for $12. Um, it, it's not a BOGO, but it was $12. So that is sold out, but you can still get it for 30% off on our Elite Hair Care site. I wonder if iPads are on sale, because I need one. I know the earpods, like they'll give me you twenty seventy five dollar gift cards or twenty five dollar gift cards or something. I'm gonna go buy some earpods. Yeah. And Alex says she would like a new pair. She keeps mentioning that she'd like the newer pair. So I'm gonna get them for her for Christmas and just put them to the side. You know, Alex. Alex is real minimal. She's like, Mom, I'd like an electric toothbrust pick and I'd like some AirPods. That's not the one whose hair you were doing. Like, mm-hmm. That's Alex, my younger. She's the modest child. Okay, so let me tell you about Alex. Alex is like me. Alex is the saving person. So we're shopping for Black Friday, and I'm telling them whatever you buy, I'm taking it from your account because it's on my Navy Federal, so I have their accounts named. I say, whatever you buy, I'm taking that out of your account. So Alex goes, and she wants Bath and Body Works, so I'm picking the stuff for her, and I'm telling her, I'm like, Alex, okay, you're at $42. She's like, really? That's a lot. So when she said, that's a lot, I'm like, well, you're going to get six other items for free. She's like, she's like, okay. So we go on, can you press that? We go on Fashion Nova now, and she says she'd like to get some new jeans because she doesn't have any jeans. Homegirl starts adding up, adding up, adding up in the cart. So when I tell her that, I'm like, Alex, okay, right now you owe me $82. She's like, uh-uh, mom. We got to put something back because I can't go over $50. <laughs> so I said, Alex, it's okay. She's like, no, mom. I don't have a job, so if I lose all this money, then what am I going to do? <laughs> My child was like, no, Mom, take those out. I'll just get those, too. I'm okay. And you didn't bring the charger, right? You were just saying that. Yes, I did charge them. No, I did charge them. They're going to oh, pay so for this stuff. Pay, no, for her hair. Oh, no, I ain't paid. I'll pay for her hair. That's my card. It looked like you had gotten behind the camera with your other child. Oh, I was telling Adriana to tell her I paid. Yeah, I didn't charge her for that. No. Uh-uh, she's playing. I was playing because Adriana didn't pay me nothing. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. Good. What are we getting today? I know a silk press. Protein. And protein. Okay. All right. Anybody want to go check if Apple is having a sale on iPads for me, please? All right, you guys, I'm back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mold her down. Best Buy has iPads on sale for $269. Ooh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to go in there and buy one right now so I can stop having to use my cell phone to cash fights. I don't really care for it at home. I need it at the shop. All right, so I'm using some Elite Silk Wrap Foam to mold her down. The wrap foam is also on sale. Buy one, get one on our Elite Friday sale that is going all the way through Monday, you guys. So we just call it Elite Friday. So if you go to Elite Total Body Care or you click the link in the description box, which is the first link, it'll take you to our different BOGOs. It'll take you to the new B7 mask. It'll take you to all of the BOGO products, all the doorbuster products. All of that stuff will be there. And you'll be able to see the different BOGOs that are available, the different sale items that are available. The flat irons that are on bundle deals are there. We also dropped the heat protectant spray 
that you can use when you blow dry the hair. For those of you that have been asking, so you guys know we partnered with H2 Pro. So they actually created a heat protectant spray that you can utilize when you are blow drying. And it doesn't build up on the hair. And then once you blow dry, you can add your Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum for you to be able to curl or style your hair. And it does not make the hair heavy at all. the other night and was surprised of the shine it left on my hair yeah hey dad he is on there I was, I was already talking to my dad before I got to work
can we see you do your hair again? Yeah, I got to do my hair today because it looks like crap. You being funny. You know, when you guys, when they look at it on the camera, you're like, oh, your hair looks so nice. It does. Well, Don't do that. Compared to yesterday, I seen it when you were on Thanksgiving. You know, it was better, was better then. It, 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 was, it was much better then. Yeah. Yeah, it was much better then. They see the top. They can't see the side. That's that's true. Hello, Father. How are you? <laughs> are you making anything special with your leftover? Yes, trash. We ain't eating no more leftovers. Listen, we ate leftovers till we all fell asleep. We ate leftovers till the afternoon. Then we ate um, Chinese food last night. I know my kids. They were like, Ma, can we throw this out now? My mother, my mother Thanksgiving be all two weeks. She will all freeze it. Then they do soup for the soul. Then she gonna use that. No, no, we, not at my house. We couldn't eat that last night. My kids would have a whole attitude. And Junie, he ain't touching none of it. He's like, I'm not eating that. And when he say he not eating it, they follow right behind him. Junie said we don't have to eat it. He said he could buy the house. Oh, Junie run the house. Over. Yes, he do. He got them exactly the same way. He don't eat leftovers. They not eating leftovers. He don't care about none of that. It's actually not hard. Yeah, because you actually showed them the camera the other day. I was trying to see what they did after they put the hair on the part in the rubber band. I didn't know if they were adding weed to the actual hair, and I think that's what you did before you started braiding. Mhm. Well, you should. You're actually supposed to crochet it through the rubber band, but I don't have a crochet needle. So that's why I did it that way. It's, it's easier with the crochet needle though. If you have a big one, you just push it through and then feed the hair back through and it stays. Rather than to hold it for you to lay it right. Gotcha. And then when you pull it through that way, it doesn't make a line on both sides because I had to split it. So it makes a line between the braid hair and their hair and it leaves an opening on the side. So you put the ponytail first, then mm -hmm. the You can ponytail the whole head and then you crochet it through and braid each one. It'll be a lot faster. It'll be a lot faster. It was good, thanks. Maybe if you paid more attention to my stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you paid more attention, you know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely. I'm trying to. Um, do I have to do a wash? I just want to wash. No, I can do it after. 
No, for fake. Your smell stink. <laughs> what? I smell your hair from over here. Mm -mm. Girl, please. I am updating the photos now. So now the bundles and all that, they say elite weekend sales, elite weekend flat iron deals. Because it's so confusing now that it's not Friday, I have to fix it. Because in my mind, that's not working in my head. I gotta fix it. So Elite Weekend BOGO deals. Thank you, Pac. are not spoiled. Leave it to my kids. They don't get enough. They, get, they probably get a menu at dinner time. They get to choose what they like for dinner. Somewhat. <laughs> See? See? Somewhat. That's a somewhat. Because they all probably don't eat the same things, right? Or they do want something that don't, that don't matter. You don't eat what the hell I give you, but we can pick our food together. I don't do that mess. And if Judy ever finds out that we like, he's a I don't skylock with children. <laughs> so, so, I don't even don't, bother with that. Skylark. Like yeah, he, he uses different words, okay? So like, if we eat something in Why the room. Negotiate or go back and forth with no, so he uses words like, like if, he, if we eat something in the room, he's like, you're encouraging roaches. That's how he called it. He said, we're encouraging roaches. Yes. He doesn't say homeless people. He says vagrants. He says he's, his father's on the British Virgin Island side, so that's how they speak. Like, that's how he speaks. He's very well-spoken, extremely well-spoken. But then on the outside, he looks like rapper. When you look at him, you see him, all you see is either use rapper or use dope boy. It's one or the other. And then when he opens his mouth, you're like, wow. And, like, and his buffness. And then he wears a lot of jewelry. He loves jewelry. Like, absolutely loves jewelry. Hi, Nana. Oh, you were, Gracie? I'm sorry, I missed it. That was the, oh, Gracie, I just purchased an edge repair kit. Can it be used on the airline? I want to use it up before purchasing the new product. Yeah, the edge repair kit is still the same usable product, you guys. Only the new one contains biotin. The edge repair kit is our original that we've had since day one. That is not a bad formula. There's nothing wrong with the formula. We just simplified the formula and added in the biotin. So use it up. Use it all up. Yes, I'm good, Mr. Howard. I'm surviving so far with Prince here this morning. It's the pettiness that you like. It's super petty. Super duper petty. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to read his comment in his voice. So he, he got the real accent part right, like the deep accent. Yeah. You know, my dad's accent is super deep. You can't match my dad's accent. So how did he say that comment to you now? Hi, Shade. What's up, girl? You're good? Uh -huh. Like, you're good? Like that. <laughs> Thanksgiving 
product say hi, which new product has the biotin added to it? The new edge repair and restoration. So if you go under um, Elite Friday other products, you will see it. Other deals, that's where we have all of the other deals. So you'll see it there. You can come, Mama. If you don't mind me asking, is the letter, is it real or a scam? I don't know what you mean, Monday. Can you be a little more specific for me? Because I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So I've updated the links in the link tree for you guys to make it a little bit easier. So each one tells you what it is. So there's one for the tools deals, there's one for the BOGO deals, and then there's one for what we call other deals, where you have like the hair balm for $12, the um, heat, heat protectant spray for blow drying, all of that stuff is in there. And then of course the BOGO deals is under BOGO. Is that too tight, Mama? Okay. The BOGO deals is under BOGO, that kind of stuff. A Dragon fruit refresher with lemonade. No, mm. no, else. Oh no, that's real. It's very real. Hopefully it actually goes through, because now I, I kind of feel like they're, they're telling a bunch of shit. I just need to know $20,000, okay? That's all. I don't really care about anything else. I just want to be able to pay them back $1,000. But what they did do, because they're in appeals, they extended the, um, the payment extension. So now, instead of it ending December 31st, they've extended it to June 2023. You don't have to make any student loan payments. There's no interest. There's no nothing. So you can be paying down on it if you choose to, and then they'll refund you. I'm going to pay the extra 1000 something, 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 and leave it at 20000 on the dot. Because I'm standing on faith that they're going to pay this off. Do you know that I put a comment showing my letter that I got that said I got approved? And people were commenting under the letter, oh, you should pay your own student loans. Why should I have to pay for your mistake why should i have to pay for you going to college and not being able to afford it and i'm reading the comment and i'm like first and foremost we all paying for each other's college so what are you talking about that's number one number two twenty thousand dollars sweetheart i owed them sixty thousand dollars and i paid down cash money forty thousand dollars out of my own pocket over three years i've been paying my own loans down and I'm like, for people to feel this way or think this way, you are so naive and so ignorant. That is ridiculous. Everybody's paying taxes, honey. What do you think this world is about? You're paying taxes. That's what you live for. You can own your home and you still got to pay taxes. And guess what? You don't own your home. Technically, you don't own it. You can pay it off. You can have no mortgage. And every year, you better pay them their taxes or they're going to put a lien on your house. So who owns your house in real life? But you never stop paying taxes. You never can escape it. So I don't know what people are talking about. And me personally, I'll take the little twenty thousand because I know at the end of the year you're gonna send me a ten ninety nine that you gave me twenty thousand dollars. It's just fine. I'm still gonna pay on it. It doesn't matter. Which is another reason why I vow my kids will not have any form of student loan. I don't care if I got to work seven jobs, they won't have a student loan going to college. They made it so easy for you to get in debt. So simple. Isn't her hair 
they're pretty. Ooh, that's white. No white. Very. There's people right now that I know for certain. When Brianna went to law school, didn't she accumulate over a hundred thousand dollars in student loans? You think that twenty thousand dollars skimming the surface of the amount of student loans some people really have right now in real life? So twenty thousand dollars is amazing. There are some people who owe a quarter of a million dollars in student loans. So you become that doctor, you become that lawyer, you're making six figures. And out of that six figures, you're paying six, seven thousand dollars a month in payments to go back to your student loans. Like, Sometimes come on. don't even start out making six figures. Thank you. Yeah, and they think because the word doctor and lawyer, yeah. they think that that word automatically entitles you that you're going to be making six figures automatic. I know lawyers that are making $60,000 right Brianna, now. Down here, that's what they were. Oh, okay. $60,000, $70,000. Mm -hmm. I'm a little lawyer. You're a whole lawyer and you still got a roommate with somebody. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Like, come on. Like, like, let's put some perspective here. You're an entire attorney. You went to school. You did all this stuff. Yet you still, you still can't even afford to say that you're going to buy a car cash at this very moment. You can't even go buy a cash car. Mm -hmm. People like myself. I went to whole college. I went to college. And I racked up 70, almost $70,000 in student loan money. And I still, at this very moment, cannot say I have a degree. I ended up dropping out. And I still owe all this money. I ended up dropping out of college. Because it was just like, okay, I'm going for something that I never want to do. I went for criminal justice. I don't want to be an attorney. I don't want to be a probation officer. I don't want to be any of that. So I got all of that education for nothing. And I don't use none of I use none of it to this day. Not one thing I think I learned in college I use right now. Nothing. So I don't discourage people from going to college. I don't discourage people from doing any of that. I want my children to go to university. I don't care if they want to be firefighters. I don't care if you want to be a ballerina. I don't care. I just want them to figure out their life for themselves and if that's a part of it then that's a part of it but I know people right now with MBAs you have a whole MBA and you are a manager at Burger King with an entire MBA like all of these things they don't tell you that part what do you say Karen said well that's not economic slavery it really is this is hot well not yet yeah, I was teaching my kids that I say in school they don't teach you you know about how to be Business person, like instead of going to college, I, I encourage my kids. I was like, hey, if you don't want to go to college, forget it. But learn how to be a business person or an entrepreneur because you'll get further in life. Like you said, people are going to college for years, and then still don't have a degree and just owe a lot of money. Say that again. No, they do. You want me to trim this part down? Yes, sir. Okay. I'd rather for them to just learn business. And they don't you know, teach that in school. Well, I'd rather teach it. The only reason why I really encourage my kids to go to university because it opens their mind to other things in the world. I want them to experience that. Now, there are some people where it just it doesn't work for them. That's fine, too. I'm not going to discourage them from going away to college because had I went away to college or university, I think I would have experienced a lot more and it would have opened my mind to a lot more. Whereas, you know, I've been in Orlando for a very long time. All of my schooling has been in the city of Orlando, and I didn't expand until I started traveling on my own as an adult. So with them, I want them to go out and learn the fundamentals of, number one, living on your own. Mm -hmm. So you can understand that part, too, because we shelter them so bad, they don't even know how to do that. So I want them to, you know, experience that, but I don't want them to feel like, oh, I need to go be all of this and do all. No, you do whatever you want to do. I don't care what major you have. You can have whatever you want. I just want you to experience that part of life. And we cripple our kids easily. Cheryl, the questions are on the screen. 
she said, the score time until she can't hear me. They're in the comment section. I've been owed more than twenty thousand dollars, and student loans don't go away. You can file bankruptcy till that kingdom come. That student loan gonna sit there. They just pause it. When I filed bankruptcy four years ago, yeah, they stopped calling me. They stopped calling me. But you see, the moment that discharge went through, and it said loan um, bankruptcy discharge, my phone started ringing again. Like two days later. Hello. Hey, how are you, babe? I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you getting done today, Mama? Okay. Got you. All right. So I'm gonna have you sit at the shampoo bowl. Okay. Shade is going to shampoo you. If you can take your bun out, let me okay. take a look at it. Okay. I'm coming, you guys. Miss Ann, give me one second, okay? Tingle just a little bit, and mm -hmm. you like it to stop. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So lift it up first. Do all the lifting up, and then you can go back to your seat.
You just want to lift it up some so that it's not stuck to yourself. So I did put some Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum on her hair. Now here's the thing, when you are silk pressing salt hair or hair that is mostly salt in color, the Frizz Tamer is gonna help you with that yellowy that can come from using an iron, okay? So what I highly recommend is during your shampoo phase, utilize that violet colored shampoo that you guys always hear me um, referring to, which is the Perfect Blonde. Um, that particular shampoo, you can mix it with any Elite Hair Care shampoo so that you can help to diminish any yellowing ahead of time. And then the Frizz Tamer is a silicone glaze or base that is also going to protect your hair, number one, from the heat, but number two, it'll stop it from yellowing as you are silking. A lot of times, okay. if your hair is yellowing, you could also have a lot of buildup. You could also have a lot of buildup on your iron, so make sure that your iron plates are clean. And then what also causes discoloration when you're working with salt hair and maybe you're using an iron, if the iron is way too hot or it's not tempered correctly, that can also change the color of the hair. So you wanna just be very careful how high your iron is, make sure that your iron doesn't have any product buildup on it. If it does have product buildup, the easiest way to clean your iron is to get a little bit of relaxer and you'll put it on the plates while the plates are cold and then turn the iron on, let it heat up. And the relaxer actually eats away any buildup that's on the iron. The worst thing you can do is scrape your iron plate. Do not scrape your plates because you'll scrape the coating off of the plates. So relaxer works. Um, you can make baking soda and Dawn dish detergent as a paste. That works as well. Um, there's so many different ones, but Relaxer works just fine. You can go to any beauty supply and get you like a, any relaxer, anything real cheap. You're only using it for the sake of cleaning your iron if you got a lot of buildup on it. But if you use your irons the proper way, buildup won't be an issue. I use my irons all day, every day, and I don't have buildup on my irons because my hair that I'm flat ironing or silking is always clean. You get buildup when you put a ton of product on the hair and then you use your iron. She doesn't see you? Okay, there's your mom. Say hello. She probably didn't have her flare for a long time, for a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so as soon as you're... Oh, yeah, she has a little flare the day. As soon as you're, um, you're done with that part, you're going to slightly wet her down. Okay. Okay, and when you slightly wet her down, you're going to use the same that you, the soothing balance that you have on her hair right now, and you're going to lather. So you're gonna wet her down like you're gonna wash her regularly. Right. And then, so yeah, you're gonna la use that and lather at the same time. So after that one, you should be fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
weather, yeah. It, it, you know, our weather. It could be. It can be cool for 30 seconds, though. Last week was the same thing. It didn't stay cool. It was only cool for, like, five minutes. You low, you put on all kind of layers. And then by the afternoon, it's 92. You can while she's washing her. Yes. So the iron that I'm using is the Elite One Inch Titanium Iron. Okay, the degree I have it at right now is 400. And then if you are silk pressing and your roots are, let's say you're like a 4C. In order for you to get to the roots, like get really close to the root, pull the hair slightly so that you can add tension and then it will stretch your roots out so that you can be silking also at the root level. So a lot of you, you end up not getting to the root number one because you're afraid of burning yourself. But number two, you're not really extending the hair out so that the heat can actually get in to that area. So you'll see me giving a little tension and then I'll run my iron over it. I don't sit on the area, I just run the iron over that area. No, just use that to um, help to get some of the buildup out, mm -hmm. and then you'll use Elite Clarify for the next shampoo, mm -hmm. and then her shampoo after that will be the Hair Repair, the Black Bottle Hair Repair and Restore. Mm -hmm. The shampoo, yep. So, yep. So Clarify first and then the hair repair after you rinse that one out really well. I already reordered, but they kind of put you in queue, so I'm in queue. They were telling me it would take a week or two, but that was two weeks ago. So I think because of holiday, too, so I'm going to reach out to them on Monday.
And then to silk her out, I'm doing anywhere between a quarter of an inch to half an inch section. Same thing. I mean, titanium you really shouldn't have to clean. But when you guys are using your titanium iron, if you have buildup on your irons, that means that you have too much product on your hair. So none of my irons that I've been using all this time, not one of them have I ever had to clean. None of my irons I've ever had to clean in all my time of using my irons. That's one thing that I can say about the H2 Pro brand. The only irons that I've ever had a lot of buildup on were the golden hot irons years ago because they don't have any coating. Like even though they're ceramic, it's cheaply made ceramic iron. So with the H2 Pro irons, I've never really had an issue with buildup. So I'm gonna do her hairline last, you guys. Her hairline is gonna be the last place that I touch. That typically is the first place to revert.
When did I train you last? Um, well, I was a uh, month and a half ago. I think when I come back in December, yeah, I think it's the day after Christmas. I think the day after Christmas you're here. Are you watching the day after? I think it's the day after Christmas. Oh, no, I'm going to change those appointments. Don't do that. I'm not here. I have to change them. So yeah. either it'll be right before Christmas oh, God, it's or it'll after. be right after New Year's. Yeah, so anybody in between Christmas and New Year's, I got to change. So I'm working the week of Christmas, but it's going to be before Christmas. So Eve. I would say the 20. Hold on. Oh let let me, I'll let you I'm know the home. dates. Now you just giving oh me gosh. dates like I know dates. You, you, I don't set this up and have it all figured out. And here you are. And I'm going yeah. to mention that. Well, no, everybody's going to get a An message. Email? Yeah, okay. not yeah. even, probably a text, because oh, I don't, yeah. email doesn't always get through fast enough. Yeah, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. So, I was going to let everybody know the beginning of December anyway. I need to, I got to get through this weekend first. Okay, get through this weekend. Yeah, so you'll know weeks ahead of time. <laughs> weeks. Yeah. Yes, the um, Susan Balance, the green one. When you put her conditioner on, put a processing cap on her and she'll just sit right at the dryer and then you can rinse the protein and such. The green one, yep. So you'll put it on, put a processing cap on her and then you'll put it under the dryer for 10 minutes, just 10.
Alright, so we're going to do our hairline. Okay. We have two strands of here that I'm gonna take off. All right, you guys. So I'm going to give her a tight curl because I'm gonna wrap her for her to go home. So I'm going to spray some Sebastian Shaper. And then I'm going to take slightly large sections and curl her. I'm going to use the same iron. Look, she can keep her cake on. Yep. Especially her hair is long, it'll go down her shirt. And then put it on 10 minutes.
can go to the shampoo. After you condition her with the step two, the repair act, the conditioner for the protein. The black one to go with the little bottle. Oh, this Yeah, so after you rinse her really well, you put that on, detangle her, and then rope twist her so she can dry. said platinum beauty. We love your color. Mm -hmm. I said we love your color. Oh, platinum beauty. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap her, but I'm still gonna so you guys can kind of see what tight tight curl in the hair will do. It just gives you a lot of body. Alright, so I'm going to use my wide brush, which is my paddle brush, and some pins. Goddess polish. It's a beautiful, healthy hair. I love the gray. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. She is all done. No Carter Castle.
Sade. Sade. I owe you 10. I have to give you 10. From my pack. I have to give you 10. Yes, it's ending. 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 <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you, love. So right, mama. Mama. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. And listen, it was perfect. It is my oh, yeah. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, you guys don't forget to thumbs up, please, and thank you. Thank you. 
I tamed her gray. Yes, thank you. Bye, guys. I'm going to the shop. <laughs> okay, Gaylene. driving crazy. Going through these emails.
I look tired? No, not really. The Violet Shampoo, if you close your chat and hit the more button under the title of this video, you'll see a the first link in the description box. That will take you to where you can get the Violet Colored Shampoo in the Amazon store. So you go to my Amazon store and I have it in the hair finds. That product is actually not made by us, it's made by Pravana. So I have the link in there for it. You don't have to do them so small and make them big. It's not that big. You could have done like four. Do do four big ones. Four. Yes, girl. Girl. Shawty like she like playing. She likes playing. Your hair. Your hair is nice and soft and pretty. Let me let me. Part these hair because they're just gonna be both dry. This one like they don't have to be. Like you doing a hairstyle. Let's do them big. dry today, not next Thursday. She's so precise, so you should see your little class, girl. You can wear this as a whole style. Five, six, max. And her ends are slightly straighter, so probably just that much is good. Some of them might not stay. It's fine. It's just so it won't like super tangle. Cause she didn't give you a cute little twist and everything. A little extra charm. She's extra. The girl actually gave you. Could hold. Got a whole twist out with these twists that she gave you. Cool, yes ma'am. Cool, cold, cool just sounds nice. But it's not a style. It's not for the purpose of a style. It's for the purpose of her to dry. Gonna think of small ones don't dry fast and dry long. Yeah. Well, oh, it's so it's deep down mm -hmm. where the highway is like right here. So, oh, okay. so yeah, this one is easier because I have a lot of people that travel, so they either on on I four is the easiest way. Now we got the express lane too, so. Typically, all you do, right? Yeah. And, but, but again, my mom is what, 85. Oh, so, I get it. Okay. I'm the health proxy. I'm my. So they have to call you first. So she was, she called me at 10 30, but I didn't have to call my phone. I don't know. It 
when the rim went down, so I didn't hear it. So when she's texting on the thread with my brother, and that's the mirror just trying to call you I'm like, oh. So she's like, I don't know what the writing answers are. Maybe it's like, okay, let's we'll just take one thing and we just have to take one thing at a time. But when she starts, this is real, when she starts, just like unraveling, <laughs> just like real. <Brown. laughs> no, but when she starts over unraveling, then you know it's everybody okay. starts. Because so she's like, she's like, I can't be weak because y'all can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> but so is this the one you got to um, the ambulance? Mm -hmm. this is the one? No, that's my brother's wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my brother's wife. Yeah. Everything's gonna be fine. I know. I'm just like, okay, Tom, do you need me to call? Because I was already looking at the site. So you're going, not you're going up there? She said, not yet, not yet. Which makes sense. I'm gonna try to sit back and not. I was just going to plan for like Monday or Tuesday. Well, I was already looking for that. Monday or Tuesday, like a ticket. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, I want to talk to you know, my mom too. You know, yeah, see how she said what she sounds like. I know she'll say, what the hell am I doing all day? You don't want me to have it. Because I always answer that line whenever we talk. Mm -hmm. You know, when we talk, I'm like, you know, oh, when are you coming? And I'll, I'll say, oh, you know, maybe next month or whatever. But it's a matter of time. You need me to come right now? now. I, I mean, I'll go to the airport right now and I'm not going to do it for it. You know, that's how it goes. Go ahead and book the ticket though. You can just change it. Yeah, that's what I said. It's just a changeable ticket. Yeah. It's it, it, you know, it really doesn't matter. I say just book it because it's the holiday and yeah. people are weird. So, check out. What you getting done today, baby? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and curl her. So I put some frizz tamer and shine serum on her hair. And then a little bit of spritz as well. This spritz is not a heavy hold, it's a very light hold.
Thank you. So he won't retire. He should, I think, but you know, with that, with his position, like better offers from him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets them all the time? He, yeah, he definitely gets like paid stuff. Yeah, but he likes it here. I think he wants it because it's, um, this is the only plant in the United States. So, so hey, really, mm -hmm. do you want to Yeah, so well, I always come in and they'll hire you, but they'll fire you. Yeah. As soon as things get rough. Second in turn, second at, at his plan, he's second in turn oh, wow. from the top. So, I'm getting it better than that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Let's get back to the process. Yeah. yeah, I remember you said it was, you had to go for a meeting. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, that's what it is. That's what it is, right? Yes. Yeah. Does it still go to school? Mm-mm. This is the last minute. It's not like oh, this way you're in retail. Right, right. So they, you know, they're the actual what they create, but they, they just don't have. They're a plant on that plant over here. Um, um, it's not wrong. But in, in the United States, but they don't know. They didn't know where.
So they can just say, okay, well, we're going to have this over the, you know, on this part of the blah, blah, blah. Me and a couple of other people are like, hold on, you know, you got to explain a little bit more than that, you know. Mm -hmm. So, that part I don't like, but at least it's a startup I'm not coming in in the middle. Mm -hmm. But that's the best part, so I can't do it. Always. 
but life goes on and we'll be fine. When is something not happening in our life? All right, y'all, so we're going to do a retouch relaxer. business days? We're not UPS, we're not the post office, so I'm not sure, but typically in the U.S. it depends, depends on how fast they're moving.
Cold and she the only one that's I mean, you can hear the dryer door. Yeah, but she's on the water. So, yeah, I'll clean it. not much to say when you're processing a relaxer, you guys. Relaxer is a relaxer. Like, how much can I say? And then she also has highlights, so I'm trying to be mindful of not overlapping onto her highlights.
want to say good evening, Krista. I'm glad I was able to get to online to catch a sale on products. Can't wait for shampoo and conditioner. Thank you. Um, I mean, it's not that quiet, but when I'm doing a relaxer, my, my objective is to get through the relaxer quickly, so I don't really say much when I'm relaxing. But it is, like, it is kind of a chill day. It's not like super busy. I'm on schedule. So, yeah, I mean, you can say that. I only have one more client left for the day. What time is it? 12.24. Mm -hmm. One more. I can't remember if it's 12.30 or he's coming on one. You can sit in my chair. That was good.
she relaxed or natural? No, my granddaughter has traction. I'm pushing the crown of her head. Looks like braids and products that I ordered for her. Okay, so her granddaughter has traction alopecia from tight braids. What can you order? So you can do the new edge repair and restore, or edge repair and restoration cream. That's for your hairline. And then you can either pair it with the Nefertiti Serum or the Goddess Super Growth Serum. And then you use the edge repair cream every other day. And then definitely a growth stimulator tool. That'll help the product to absorb. And then, I mean, I'm going to also recommend stop braiding her hair because if you continue to braid it and she has traction, it's going to continue. Alright you guys, so I'm gonna still press my client. I put some Frisk Tamer and Shine Serum on her hair. Hey Sandra. Hi. Good, how are you? 
a little wore out from Thanksgiving, but I'm okay. That happens. That definitely happens. Oh my God. Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving though? We did. Can't complain. We did. Put the big machine on your ear. Hey, Taco Bell. Oh, oh, my God, really? I was sitting here like, you really listening to him? Oh, my God. He got me. He got me. Back up to your bar. Okay. No, he's a CEO driver. I don't know if you're a believer. I don't know if you're a believer. No, that's the truth. That's the truth. Oh, my God. What is that? It's cute. Did any shopping? Online. Yeah. That's pretty much the way I've done it a long time. Yeah, I'm not going out. I heard, um, you saw what? I was watching the news after somebody was like, let's pray for the people in Virginia. At the Walmart. Chester, Virginia. Somebody, five people got shot. Oh, that's ridiculous. So, um, I think it was a manager, Thanksgiving, or a Black Friday. One of those, or on Thanksgiving. No, the day after Thanksgiving. I just crazy. He walked in, it's a, like he was a supervisor or something, and they were having a meeting, and the girl said they always have a meeting right before their shift, and he comes in and just starts shooting. And he killed five people. One of them was like 16 years old. Oh my God. And then the girl, the one of the ladies that lived, she was the one that was telling the story of what happened. She was on CNN saying that when he came in, like she was like, you could hear everything. You could hear the blood, you could hear everything. And she was under the table. And then she said that um, she came out and the guy basically like he told her to come out. So she said she put her bag out first. And then she came out and like she said, the guy that was doing the shooting, he was like, go home, Jennifer. And she says she she went to go out the door, and in her mind she's like he's gonna shoot me in my back. Oh my god! And she ran out, and he didn't shoot her. He didn't shoot her. She was a, she was. Oh, she was able to go. Oh my god! And she was telling the story. Home and he said her name. Oh, he because he worked with her. He worked. He's a manager. Oh, so he Either a manager or supervisor or something. What? Yeah. Wow. I wonder why he's saying her. I don't know, but she was on CNN telling the story. So did they get him? Yeah, well, he's alive. He's, he's very alive. Oh, my God. Back in 07, the Walmart down here, down 436, I was living in Altamont, and I went there late at night, and when I got back, I turned the news on, and there was a, a shooting. Some guy came in to shoot his, his ex-wife mm -hmm. in the face with an Uzi and missed her, point blank range. Yep, that happened in a hair salon on the east side. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. The hair salon. Walmart, you know, it's notorious. Walmart has a lot. Yeah, Walmart is yeah, a lot of skeletons on Walmart. Never. Really it's never happened at a Target. Target but a lot time, of Walmart. One time at Walmart, like a family reunion bus pulled up, and my brother said he was there when this happened. A family reunion bus pulled into oh, the parking lot, and they get out of it, they're all in the store, and a fight breaks out with the family reunion. They throwing king kids across the aisle at each other. I was just throwing down fights. I'm like, oh my god, that is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Plus online, you just it just comes to you at the house. You don't have to you go in and get it unless it's something. Most of the time, you don't have it in the stores anymore. Yeah, yeah. well, they or they start early where it's not like a rush anymore. You're not getting this major deal. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, most Black Friday sales, it was all about the electronics. Now, electronics are so cheap. Yeah. They yeah. don't even care about the deal anymore. Yeah. Well, I think, from what I hear, they take a lot of that good stuff out of your electronics. Mm hmm and So you're, you're paying stuff. for, like, the, the carcass of the electronics that you're getting, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you no longer are going to fight over a $32 TV. TVs are $32 now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not even that serious anymore. <laughs> the only time they'll make it like an extreme deal is like if it's like a 55 inch TV for $32. Or yeah. something. It gotta be something like that. Really amazing, yeah. Like yeah. real different. But yeah. now you can get a 55 inch TV for $200. Those used yeah. to be $1,000. Yeah. I'm trying to find the middle, I know this way back in the day. And I don't know if I've ever seen them anymore, but the little box, little tiny. 
portable TV that you can carry that. Hey, you like, probably can get that online or on Amazon. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to start looking like even on eBay. But I just don't know if anybody has anything like that anymore. But um, I'd love to have something like that. He didn't shoot her because she just started working there. Uh -huh. But he said he didn't shoot her because she had just started oh working there. So I mean, that's that's a legitimate reason. Wow, okay. You just, you just started working here, so I'm not going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot everybody else that's been here. So, you haven't so pissed me off yet. Well, you know, I was going to say, that was actually in a movie, and it saved somebody's life. They were like, when did you start? And the person was like, three years ago, and he went, pow, when did you start? Two years ago, oh, another my person was like, oh, I just started today, and they oh. let him live there, um, let him survive. That is just insane. That actually saved a few lives, because I would have been looking at the pattern, too, and was like, uh, I don't even work here. I started mm -hmm. yesterday, you know. Uh -huh. He's killing the people that's been working there. It was not, um, oh, my God. He's a doctor, so he basically was blaming everybody that had anything to do with his mom dying at the hospital oh, or something like that. God. So if they just started, they had no idea, but if they did work there, they knew or something like that. Oh, my God. So he killed five people, excluding the Jennifer. Somebody said he was shooting because of bullying. Oh. I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe they saw more than I saw. I haven't, like, really looked into it as much. It's between the Walmart shooting and the girl dying in Cabo. That's all I keep seeing. Oh. Girl goes to Cabo with her friends, mm -hmm. and she they, the friends come back without the girl. Come to find out, she oh, ended up dying, and they said that she died from al alcohol poisoning. No, she died because they beat her to death. Yeah. Oh my God. Her own broke, friends. Broke her neck. They have video of of the fight. I'm her talking friends? like yep. Mm -hmm. So cold. So her so neck cold. was broken, her spine. Oh my um, God. You know when the doctor came, because the the doctor that was treating her, the doctor came. And was saying that we need to get her to the hospital. They're saying, no, she's just drunk. Mm -hmm. oh, Not man. knowing that they had just beat her. Oh, severely God. beat her. And she was drunk at the same time. Oh, so it's not like she could really she fight. She was paralyzed. It just came out, um, oh. I think, this morning or last night. So now the Mexican authorities have issued um, warrants. And, and the United States is going to extradite them. They're yeah. not even holding them. They're like, nope, yeah. you can go. Well, the one girl. But yeah, Jaquisha, whatever. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be guilty by association, but that's mm -hmm. if Mexico has that law. You know, the United States, we do yeah. have that where yeah. you can be guilty for just standing there when it happens. Right. Mm -hmm. right. 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 But if they don't have that, then they're not gonna do it. That's a shame. I mean, one is a start. That's a shame. That was messed up. They were jealous. That girl was beautiful, pretty, and they they're investigating the nurse and the cops now because you know they stole twenty thousand dollars at her bed. I think they said it was ten. I And they said that once it happened, they all jumped on a plane and came back. Yeah. Like literally, everybody jumped on a plane and came back and tried to say that she died from alcohol poisoning. So they had it all planned out. That's they basically had to get their life together. I'm sure they did. To get on the plane that quick after it happened and get out of there. That all together. Mm -hmm. That's sad. I don't know if yeah. they were leaving anyway. At the same I don't time. think so. Well, I don't think they were leaving anyway. Their trip was supposed to be longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. So much. It's a lot of speculation. It's a lot. And then the girl, you're all on Instagram. You're making posts. You're doing, oh, I'm not doing the interviews unless I get paid. What? Ooh, girl. She it's said a lot. That? Did you see that? She was on her Instagram. She's making posts. Basically saying, you're not doing any paid. interviews unless you get paid. You're trying to clear your name, talking about getting paid. Well, this was before they issued warrants for you. And, and now they're really going to execute these warrants because they got permission to do it now. So now you're really going. And then a lot of people, like a lot of people who've been to prison or jail in Mexico, they're like, listen, this is not a cakewalk. Like, they're telling you, like, it is intense. They were telling her to fight that. Everybody that was involved with it, they just don't need to sell compartment tax dollars. Just get rid of them. And that's not funny. Yeah, that's messed up. That's messed up. Yeah, that's messed And that's what, it was this girl, like, she went to jail in Mexico for 29 days. And she said that 29 days felt like five years. 
because it's yeah, like Mexico is, yeah, there's right. nothing. She's like feces on the walls. It's it, it's just they don't clean. Like they they really right. make you want not want to come back here. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a prison in Texas. I believe it's in Texas, and the the, the warrant or or whoever the, the main cop out there or whatever says that if tents are good enough for our troops, are good enough for the prisoners, and if they stay out in the desert in tents. They don't want to go back there. Yeah. I mean, really, that's what you want to yeah, I was going to say. Prisoners yeah. nowadays yeah. have, like, TV. Yeah, yeah, have a, like, it's yeah. in, the, in, in Europe. Prisons are special. Like, it's very, they're very, mm -hmm. very humane, very everything. Like, you can have TV, you can have all of that. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just sad. That's why people are like, I can go. You can gym membership, you can get free education, you get all it's sorts of stuff. Yeah, they make it uncomfortable for everybody, I guarantee. They call they it rehab. Want to it's rehabilitating the prisoner and going to God. It's giving them the comfort. Me personally, you guys beat that girl. You videotape or whatever you want to call it. Recorded this it. fight. You know, I understand a fight is a fight, but sometimes people don't know that when you're in your mind fighting someone, everybody's like, oh, I wasn't fighting to hurt her. You're always fighting to hurt. Mm -hmm. That's what the fight is for. It's not you're fighting to do anything else. Because the way that they were slamming her, that is not an old girl, I'm just tussling with you. Did you see but that But the fact that she's not able one. to fight back. I've been looking for that one. The second video of them yeah. slamming her on her head? Yeah. The second girl or the second person, because it was more than one person. Yeah, the biracial looking girl. That's the one I thought would get mm -hmm. worn out, because they said when she slammed her, that's what made her paralyzed and her neck break. But the thing is, but she's not fighting back, so it's not a fight. No. It's an attack. And then the guys that were there on the trip too, It'll recording and saying, "Hey, fight back! You're not gonna fight back." Like she couldn't. But even being drunk, she's not gonna be able to fight back. I mean, when they were standing there before the fight even started, she was just standing there. Y'all was just standing there, and the girl just takes off on you like mm -hmm. random. Like, if I'm gonna fight you, at least I want I do want you to actually fight back. I don't really want to know. Like, I don't want to fight you, and you're just standing there. Thing. That that just shows how much of a coward you really are as the person who's fighting. I want to know why they did it, even though no good reason is going to be. Because they came in her room. And oh, like that was her was room? Saying, yeah, that was her room. She got her own private room. So that lets you know right now she didn't deal with them like that. But they were saying a lot of things that came from, like, jealousy and all kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. Her room was clean, so they weren't sleeping in there with her, I don't think. And they were in the doorway. So they all went in her room, and they followed with a camera ready to record. So they had to know something was about to happen. But they said she was also the one with all the money. None of them had any. Money. <laughs> that's probably why they oh, Lord. Like, I'm, I'm not. That's why I don't call people my friends. Uh, uh, I don't use that word yeah. lightly. I don't. The people throw that word around. Like, you gotta be real careful with that word. And friends and no. People are envious of you. Like if they have what you have or where you are, they don't want. They don't want to ever be below you, which is so crazy because you can grow together. Everybody can grow together. You can have something. Like, you can have $2 million and I have a million point five, but I'm still mad because you got, you know, a little bit more than me, even though we're both rich. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible teaches to be content with what you have, you know? Cause Everybody you can't know. have everything at the same time. No, no be content with what you got. But, you know, social media is really the reason why the world is the way it is. Because it, it fools you. It fools you at a young age. It tells you that, oh, if you're not doing this, then you, you don't have enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, people make things look great. These same people, there's somebody, I forgot who it was. You, were make, you make all these posts. You live this lavish lifestyle on pictures and videos. <laughs> and then come to find out, you're homeless. The person yeah. is actually homeless. I know somebody like that. It's it's really like it's what insane. what the social media lifestyle can do to people. It'll tell you that you are not doing enough and you're not trying hard enough, yeah. and what you have is not enough. And if you don't look like this, mm -hmm. you're not a beauty queen, and the Instagram monster, and the people are really going out and getting BBLs and changing their noses and stuff like that to look like these people. That's crazy. Like, Michael Jackson and all that. Hey, don't talk about my Michael now. That's my favorite artist. Fighting about Mike. Like, don't like him. You can shampoo her. That's my baby. But yeah, and I think because of his dad, it all psychological. All of this comes from the mind. Like his dad probably was 
always tell them how ugly he was and what his big nose. You know, they made the movie about it and we showed us some. Right. We won't ever know everything. But I believe that was a big part of it. He always told me he was ugly. You know? But he did go way too far with it. Because huh? I think he was a cute, handsome guy. Well, I don't think Joe's a pretty man either. He's got high eyebrows, like he got an arch there today. No, I've been a, a big fan of his. He's not going to be all one, but he's going to be a big He paid a lot of white he's for a lot of evil. Yeah. So. I would like to do it from the a bit to a fun fact. Okay. This is this tour. I was supposed to dance in the tour right before he died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You did what now in the tour? I was supposed to dance oh, really? on the This Is It tour, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He never got to do it. Mm. That's just him. Yeah, fun fact. Didn't want me dancing on the tour. Yeah. What'd you say? But they didn't want me dancing on that tour. <laughs> they want you dancing on there? <laughs> Why not? <that? laughs> I forgot my mouth. I'm not sick. But you know how when I start coughing, I'm going to you know, feel like I'm sick enough to die. I'm lucky not to do this. I'm telling you. No. Okay. 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 So the iron that I'm using is the one inch black diamond titanium iron. So this one is the extreme pro version of the elite titanium that one does not have the automatic shut off either The charcoal edge control will be back in stock on Monday for Cyber Monday. Turkey and the ham, green beans, and that was Stuffing it. and the stuffing. 
too much? Well, not, you know, I don't know the good point, but um, same desserts. Straight from the can. Uh, uh, they uh, brought all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, desserts and, and sides. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that made it easier. Yeah. A lot of food. That turkey, though, I was like, I took that pad in to come out and figure, like, on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, that thing was still frozen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how mine was. To take and it I out, changing the water, put it in a big pot of water. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. That's what we eventually did. I had to put it in a big, tall soup pot mm -hmm. with the legs up so that bottom can. Yeah. And the leg, the end of the legs where I think you said it was still kind of frozen. I was like, that'll be fine. Inside was frozen. No cook, no cook, no problem. So, cook that puppy and give the ham and. The cooking part wasn't much. If you don't hear most of the people, that takes a lot out of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so. And they, they got there, like I had two girls come earlier to help me like set the tables and you know, do last minute stuff. So they mm -hmm. came at one and then the rest came at two. And by the time they came, you know, it was like full blown. And the last one left at like 11.45 that night. But I don't even know like 5.30 that morning. So I slept for a few hours in. Oh yeah, I'll see you guys now. Oh yeah, I'll see you guys now. 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 I'll see my daughter's and my mom's work is on but um, she has to work because she's coming Sunday. Oh, okay. Good deal. So we we'll thank dinner again tomorrow at work. Yeah. Oh, good. I've heard people doing that. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've heard a few people coming back, you know, yeah. they, 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 they hey. couldn't have things to do on Thursday when they're doing it on Sunday. Yeah. Like, you're all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually fixing it again. So the turkey, I was like, don't take the turkey. It's way too much for him to eat. And he likes the thighs anyway. So usually when it's just here, you know, I'll fix, like, the pieces. The thighs, the wings, and the, the, um, the, the drumsticks. I'll um, cook those and it's just used to be. So anyway, I'm fixing that this weekend. Because he likes them. I didn't really eat much. But I have a lot of people when I'm talking. I don't eat much. Mm -hmm. So I wait. And then I eat later when it's just late. Because it takes me so long to eat. It takes me so long. You mm -hmm. just calm her, calm her down so she can go in the dryer. Okay. Nothing going on in the dryer. Um, you can use the um, Nandy, the purple leave in spray. Let's shake it up for you. Okay. Things out yet? Uh -uh. Not yet. I got your message. I just haven't figured it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Your hair is thick, too. You know, no, it wasn't. I've always had thin hair. And one side would always be thinner than the other. I don't know what that was about. People would say, well, it must be the side you sleep on. <coughs> I'm like, I sleep on both
do? When did we, did we do your protein last time? Yeah. Okay, so she's getting a uh, wash and condition. So you put those away. Those are done. Um, you use the hair repair and restore shampoo and conditioner, and then clarifying shampoo first. You already know how to do it. And then we'll lean the chair back. There. Mm -hmm. And then the towel for her neck. No, no, I'm just suggesting you don't shoot it. Thank you. Right. 
So we're going to use the Vibachi 1 and 3 fourths of an inch ceramic iron to style her. She's already silk, so I don't need to use the titanium anymore. Now you can use it, but I prefer this iron when I'm doing like bob style. And then I'm still doing large sections. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I 
that's really it. Because of the way my head tips to the side of the <laughs> no, I ain't do it yet. I got the stuff, but I'm gonna probably do it on Sunday. I don't know. I was kind of tired yesterday too, but I got the stuff because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss the thing. You see, your curls always turn out to crimp. <laughs>
Well, I'll give you the thing here. Whenever I, I turn you this way, I'll tell you to put it up. So just hold on. No, you're fine. You ain't on there. We can't even see you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. It's like the, your hoodie is what they see. They don't even know who the person is. You put it down. Nobody can see you. I'll tell you when they, when I'm gonna turn you. I'll tell you when it's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see the back of your head for a little while. All right, so we're gonna blow her out. Scalp nice and clean. Good.
Because you can't really tell. Like, if you're looking from the top, you don't know that it's sitting back here and it's all back here. It's not really up here like that. It's in the areas where you don't touch. And you would know because when you're doing your hair, you're looking up here. You're not back here. Somebody has to be back here to see it. Because even today, if I didn't say, well, let me part some more, I wouldn't have known that it was back there. Because it's right by your occipital bone. That's not a place that we look. That's not something that we really pay attention to because our body, like our arms don't extend like that. We're not really caring so much. You can take her cape off. Something that we all something we all could understand, you know. The more you do it, the less it grows. So the more you control it, the less you have. But I don't have it here. Uh, but we have it on this side, and it's on the special this week. So if you go right where you want to go, you can get here. Click on the Friday sale. See, all these trees are there. Again, like all the old trees you have. Two bottles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did it at the you saw how we did it when it was dry. Before you even wet your hair, you're going to lift up the build up first and then apply it, let it sit for a minute or two, and then you wash your hair. So you'll, you'll wet your hair down and then you're going to lather it up so it'll get all of it out of the hair too. And then you start your hair.
Well, I'm glad I did my Hobby Lobby early because when I went yesterday, they had nothing. Mm -hmm. All their Christmas stuff was gone. Like, it was like bare bones. And when I went there in November before Thanksgiving to get all my stuff, when they had just started 60% off, they had a ton of trees in the front. Like, the front was full of trees. It was full of all the Christmas stuff. You go there today, it looked like regular Hobby Lobby. Like, they have nothing. And it's still 60% off. But everything is gone. Nope. That's why I'm glad I got all. I got first dibs on all my stuff. I had all the good stuff. Now you got all the, the crappy stuff that people left behind on the time. Turn it away then. Alright, now you just <laughs> Give me a second, you guys. Let me blow dry. You can take it out, you're fine. I'm in front of the camera. Oh. She don't want y'all to know who she is, y'all. She, she too works for the secret service. No, that's fine. They're real they really want to see your hair anyway. They don't really care about the faces anymore. They care about your hair. <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying. You want a middle part of my side? How you got the bald spots? When did they start? That yeah. kind of. Well, I used to wear a lot of braids back in the day, and I guess the braids being a little too tight is what started the bald spots. Marshawn. <laughs> okay, so Marshawn, if you have something that we call traction alopecia, as long as there is no scarring, scarring basically means that area, that follicle is dead. It's not coming back in that area. If there's no scarring, then you can start with the edge repair and restoration cream. Um, hair repair and restore shampoo conditioner and then honestly if you're still doing the braids and all of that stuff you got to lower or lessen the amount of tension that you're putting on the area because eventually traction alopecia is the, really the only form of alopecia that is reversible that's what they say it's the only one that's actually reversible and how you reverse it is you stop doing what started it in the first place that's the first thing once you stop doing what started it then you can start nourishing your hair back to health. But you have to stop what you were doing first. Reader, please tell Crystal I said hello. Um, Carvella said hello, Crystal. Hi, Carvella. Reader. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be using the Elite Titanium 1 and 3 fourths inch iron to silk her out. It is a wider plate, so it'll cover a lot more ground. And it's titanium as well. I saw a deep 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So just start with where I started. I told you to start, uh, Krishan. Marshawn, start there. Simplicity is that's the easiest way. When she initially got her hair, um, came to get her hair washed, um, at the beginning, I'm going to put the chin down for me. At the beginning, I always like to check my client's hair and scalp to see if I see any buildup, any breakage, or anything that we need to talk about before we start. So at first, I just started to part through the crown and the sides. And then something just said, go ahead and part through the back to see if there's anything back there as well. When I parted through her back, right above the occipital bone and below the occipital bone, she had what we call dandruff. You don't see it in the front, you don't see it in the side. So then you would assume that everything is fine because typically we don't look, we can't look in the back of our head unless you have eyes back there or someone is looking for you. So she had a lot of buildup or congestion on her scalp right in this area and it was all concentrated back here. So what we did was we took our comb, which is a rat tail comb, um, nice small teeth, and we parted through all of back here and lift up that dandruff or any type of um, congestion. Congestion can be dermatitis, can be dry scalp, whatever. We just call it congestion, it's, it's a better term. So we lift up everything that's back there and then after we lift it up, we applied the Soothe and Balance free treatment in those areas and that's kind of a, a common mistake that people make whenever you have dandruff because the first thing you want to do is you want to use your shampoo to clean off the dandruff and dandruff it really does not clean itself off it doesn't lift itself up so when you put shampoo on there that shampoo is not going to be able to get under the dandruff lift it off the scalp and take it out of the hair all it's going to do is wash everything that's above the dandruff and make the dandruff nice and wet, nice and soppy. And then you're washing, washing, washing. And then when you're done washing, you go and part the hair and now it's just wet and becomes like a paste and it's still sitting there. So this is why I tell you guys that lifting up that congestion is probably one of the biggest points that you have to do. It doesn't matter what products you're using. It doesn't matter if the doctor gave you a shampoo. You still have to do your part to lift that dandruff up Lift it off the scalp because remember, it's caked on. It's like connected to your scalp. Just like dermatitis is skin, dandruff is like a scale on the scalp. So you have to lift it up first and then it will comb out or wash out. If you don't lift it up, all that treatment that you're putting on there, all that shampoo, whether it be the medicated shampoo that the doctor gave you or if it's the Soothe and Balance or anything that you're using, it's not going to help. Okay, those shampoos are not made to clean the dandruff. They are made to help treat the scalp that is producing that dandruff. Okay, it's not for the dandruff itself. The dandruff itself is already there. It's already out. It's your job to take your comb, lift it up off the scalp, and then apply your treatments. And then you'll notice a huge difference in your scalp. So like right now, her scalp is very clean. She has no dandruff, she has no dry scalp, she has nothing on her scalp at this point because we did it the right way. And that's also why you guys are wasting a ton of product and you'll always say, oh, this product, it didn't do anything for me because it's still there. It's still there because you didn't do what needed to be done first. Thank you. I'm sure she appreciates the comment. <laughs> Carmela said her hair is long, mine is halfway there, thanks to Crystal's hair products. Thank you, Carmela. Grace said somehow the red plate flat iron seems to glide a little smoother. Maybe it's my imagination. No, it just depends. So remember, she has coarse textured hair. It's going to glide smoother 
depending on the texture of hair. With coarse textured hair, I'm going a lot slower because I'm trying to cover more ground in one sitting instead of making very small parties. And I promise you, the ceramic is not going to silk her out the way the titanium is, especially because she has what we consider coarse textured hair. Coarse textured hair doesn't mean, oh, your hair is super rough. It means that the diameter of the strand is bigger. It's a bigger strand. of it i mean that's one of the characteristics but the texture of the hair is really determined by the number of strands per square inch of the head so if you have fine textured hair you might have a hundred squints i'm just making up a number a hundred strands per square inch then that same person who has that fine textured hair with a hundred strands if they were medium texture they might have 50 strands per square inch because they're fatter they get fatter then coarse textured hair, they might have 25 strands per square inch because they're really fat strands. So you can actually count them. You can rub them in between your fingers and you can feel each individual strand. That is coarse textured hair. So yes, it still looks coarse because they, they have the look as well, but that really is what determines if you're coarse, medium, or fine. But fall out the chair, put that thing up. Just put it to the side, though, just like that. <laughs> That's all. Crystal, Take your time, no rush. Crystal, when you're done, we'll pause it. I'll sit down in the chair. We'll okay. Sell some, we'll sell some products. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> For my Caucasianers. They always got to tell me, I'm Caucasian and I love you. <laughs> I just gave the, I just gave the key. Yeah, you did. So maybe they were like, wow, Could have been earlier. Yeah. And I'm a hairstylist, so of course I'm going to know the texture. I'm, my eye is trained that way. But for you to know your texture, you can also just feel your hair. If you can actually count every strand of hair on your head and it's not alopecia, and you can literally say, I have one, two, three, four, then more than likely that's coarse textured hair. There's a difference. What well, if there wasn't dreads? Like these then if there wasn't dreads, then you could still say that you're fine textured. No. You can be fine textured just because you have dreads, it appears coarse. And then gray hair has its own texture. So if you're looking at gray hair, that doesn't count. Gray is already coarse. Oh, that's too funny. I didn't know that. Gray hair is its own texture and its own color. It has its own characteristics. Oh, so you wow. don't count gray hair. So that's why you use certain products for gray hair. So, okay, even with her being coarse, I can literally count the grays in between her hair that's not so coarse. Mm -hmm. The gray hair is its own texture. You can see it. It's like a wire. It doesn't matter who it is because oh, it has its own texture. Gray hair is its own color and its own texture. It has its own characteristics. It's wow. not, never going to match your hair. It will never be the same. That's why I didn't do that. So when I silk her... The gray hair looks like I barely touched it because that's the oh, way it is. Yes. It's just, that's, yeah. that's gray hair. So even when I part her, the gray stands out yeah. and then it makes her hair stand out because it's so coarse. Oh, I see. 
No, what if you're relaxing the braid? What it don't matter. It'll still, it'll relax, but it's still going to have its own texture. Oh, wow. So like me, I have a gray hair right in front of my head. I am very relaxed, yet that gray hair still does this, and everything else lays down. And I relax oh. that area every two to three weeks. It's its own texture. I didn't know that. But I see it. I, I see could the take difference. Right. Yeah. Okay, y'all really sitting out here, y'all. I shouldn't have told you guys about county because everybody's like, okay, so I have seven strands. Does that mean that I'm ten? That does not work. Do not count the strands, you guys. It will never happen. Like for me, if I have fine textured hair and I had the same amount of strands and my hair was coarse, you would not be able to part through my scalp. You would never be able to get through my hair. So it's like, okay, just because I'm fine textured, that doesn't mean that I'm missing anything. I have more than you have in your course. So if I have that same amount of hair and it becomes coarse textured hair, then I'm going to have a unpartable afro, if oh, that makes wow. sense. So each one has its own characteristics. That's why I tell people, hey, my hair is so thin. Not necessarily. You might be fine textured. That doesn't mean you're thin. That just means that's what you got. That's your texture. <clears throat> I've been thinking that about me. You know. I have fine textured hair, and you can see my scalp, and my hair is extremely healthy. I don't have alopecia. Yeah, yeah. But if I had the same amount of hair that I have right now, and it was coarse textured, I wouldn't be able to lay my hair down. Oh, so. And you wouldn't be able to see your scalp? No. Have you, have you dealt with it? Well, it's because it's, it's perception that if your hair is not thick, it's not healthy. So that's every client that sits in my chair. Your hair, your hair could be healthy and thin. Mm -hmm. My hair is healthy and fine. That's just what God gave me. That's why there's three different well, textures. I, can't tell you have short cuts, so. I can tell because even when my hair is laid, I can see my scalp. And in fine textured hair, let's say my hair was long. Let's say I grew it back out and I had a bob. My bob would be very flat. That's why I don't grow my hair back out. Because fine textured hair has no volume. It lays straight down. It just goes blah. Coarse textured hair, it sits up. So if you notice the grays, they stand out and they stand off the head. Yeah. Fine textured hair doesn't stand off the head. It lays flatter on the head. The cuticle is flat. Yeah. Then medium, the cuticle is slightly raised. And then coarse, the cuticle sticks straight up. So if you ever notice Japanese people or Chinese people, you can sometimes count every strand of hair they have in their head because they have the most resistant hair texture. They are coarse. Oh, wow. They are born yeah. with coarse textured hair. That's why you can always see their hair will only go one direction. Straight up. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why. Oh, wow. so they have the texture hair. of gray hair. Naturally, they're born oh, that way. That so you'll know, yeah. That's called coarse hair for them. That's coarse textured hair for them. That is interesting. So that's typically why they'll so shave their baby's hair and try to get the hair mm -hmm. to change They're trying to get it to change and that don't happen. That's what God gave you. So mm -hmm. It could be. So she might have picked up some of his genetics. Like a lot of hair, like her, but in the middle, it's what? What? I'm serious. He said, "I'm like, no." Well, yeah, I have to tell you because a lot of people think I'm Caucasian. It happens all the time because I identify with rich as a rich white woman. She's real special. Just, just don't pay her no mind. She's just real special. It's okay. We all have different characteristics that we're born with. That was her. I don't have to be broke and I don't have to deal with racism. I don't have to deal with any of that. But no, I just, I just don't know that. Okay, I just learned a lot within like two minutes. So the comment that she made when she's like, they will shave their child's hair, trying to change the texture, not knowing that there is nothing on this planet that you can do to change the texture of your hair outside of chemically altering your hair. Like relaxer. relaxer. That's a chemical alter. But remember, when the new girl comes out, the first thing they come in here and say, girl, I need a relaxer. This thing will not do this because your natural texture is now out. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how relaxed you are. And then the only other thing that will change your texture is when you ever have somebody that they go through cancer and they say their hair comes back different. Yeah. Because you chemically altered your body, oh. radiation, chemo. That's a that's like a chemical altering in your blood. So that changes your texture. That happened to cousin Oh wow! Mm -hmm. 
So there's nothing else that will change your texture other either chemically altering or something internally changed the way your, your blood, your blood flows, your genetics, whatever. Something changed inside of you that changed your hair. And usually chemo is one of the only things that can do it because remember, it's poison in the body. It's poisoning the cells. So it's changing everything. So then is that... That's why, you know, they'll say medicine, you take certain medicine, mm -hmm. that can affect, because it comes out. Because it's changing something in your blood, in your cells. It's affecting inside. Oh, wow. If you don't have a thyroid, that can change. It's considered autoimmune, something that affects the blood itself. So, Crystal, that would be my case, right? It could possibly. If you, have if you have any form of autoimmune disease, yeah. That affects the hair. Mm-hmm. The thyroid being off can change your hair. Lupus, diabetes, thyroid disease, HIV, um, even herpes. I'm not sure. So I just gave y'all some chemistry. Please don't send me any 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 um illnesses that you have. I'm not a doctor. I cannot tell you. Okay, I'm just telling y'all what I learned. That is all. Nothing more. Yes. It's probably Amazon or somebody. I don't know. More than likely it was Amazon because then Junie texts me right after and whenever they ring the gate, it goes to him first. And then he texts me like, who's at the gate? I don't know. <laughs> Look at your phone. I don't know. Dad did that one time when I was at home and there was a solicitor who came to the front door and it, 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 it notified him on his phone. And I'm sitting there just talking to the solicitor. And after a while I hear Dan saying something on the internet, I'm like, what in the world? It's like I was listening to everything that was said at that point. It was so scary. Freaky. Gigi said, hi, Crystal. I was ready for your sale last night and mad at myself for misplacing my credit card. Oh, well, next time, this is going to it. But Grace told me the sale is still going on. Girl, Gigi, the sale is going on till Monday at 11.59 at night. You got time, honey. I promise you got time. Now, some stuff might be sold out, but others may not. It's still going on. I promise. Nothing has changed. I don't even know what Cyber Monday is going to be. I might do some type of flash sale or something. I don't know. So, I have another chemistry question about moisture <laughs> in the hair, like water. Like, people, certain people hold water in their hair. It's called porosity. Porosity. Oh, that's what that is. So, the word porosity comes from the word porous. Just like your pores, you open your pores, porous, porosity, pores. They're all the same. Okay. The hair is what we call porosity in your hair. In your skin, it would be your pores. Gotcha. I'm touching your face and all. I'm using you as an example. In your skin. <laughs> in your skin, it's your pores, right? Okay. So porosity determines how much moisture the hair can hold. Oh, so if mine doesn't hold moisture, I got a little that that's one of the telltale signs but you won't know unless you do what we call a porosity test meaning you drop a couple strands in a cup of room temperature water and see what it does within a minute or two if it floats if it floats it's low porosity if it sinks to the bottom it's high porosity if it hovers in the middle it's medium porosity meaning the amount of time and the amount of moisture your hair absorbs instantly like her hair, she is more than likely low porosity. More than likely, she's low porosity because texture also affects porosity. So put it up, mom. Her hair, it'll sit right on. I can tell it would sit right on top because she's coarse. Her hair is like literally standing out. So I know if she tests the porosity of her gray hair, it's gonna literally sit on top. And then if she tests the porosity of her dark hair, it might hover and sink. So we have a class, a class replay that teaches you about porosity. It's called What's My Porosity? Where I teach you how to do a porosity test, how to read the test, the different types of porosity tests because there are six different tests. Each one can be done differently by anybody.
So I teach you how to do that. So if you go to Elite Hair Care USA and go under classes, you'll see it says, what's my porosity? Once you know your porosity, then you can get the class that actually talks about each individual porosity. And those are 30% off as well. So it's $27. So I think that makes it like $18 or $19. Relaxed hair is automatically high porosity. You treat it high. Oh, really? Anything that's chemically altered, you treat it as high porosity. So even sometimes you can have a permanent color. So like I can do a permanent color to her hair and it will change the texture and the porosity of her hair depending on what I do. So if I go to lighten her and make her blonde, the absorption can change and then her texture can change too. Because of the chemical that you because remember, chemically altering is one of the only ways to change hair texture. Wow. That is so interesting. With all you're saying, it, just, it really makes sense to watch what you're putting on your hair now. Mm -hmm. you heat can also place. change texture. Too much heat can change the texture. Wow. That's why we walk around here with so many damaged, so much damaged hair. You probably don't say that. <laughs> well, you learn by doing. So much more to learn. I don't even know half of the quarter of what she knows. Wait, Bobby Brown wrote that song. It's my porosity. My porosity. He said my porosity. No, he's being funny. It's my porosity. <laughs> and y'all just wanted to ride along with him. I got so my porosity. <laughs> y'all can't sing that though. She's going to get sued. No, she's not. Well, they copyrighted my, my video for the Proud family playing in the background, a TV show. It came like five minutes later was like, you're playing, um, what was it? What's the show again? Um, Proud, Proud family. family. And it, it told me the song and everything. The year it came out and said, now you have to share your, your um, share your, basically your monetization with the maker. You can either oh do that or, or you can mute it. it. Or change the song. Oh, but they I don't be having no time. Um, Sandra. Oh, I thought it can't play it. No, yeah. it can't be his voice. Oh. Yeah, you can sing whatever you want. Oh, okay. I thought if you start singing, oh, no. Mm, it's the actual, okay. like, it, it's, I don't know what Google uses, but they're, they have some very high tech thing behind everything. Because they can literally read, it reads, the, like, within five minutes, you get that email. Like, I'm talking fast. Mm. Even wow. playing little snippets. It, yep, and I even tried to do 15 seconds or less. That doesn't work. Oh, they flagged my last two because I tried it. I was in the car. And I was like, let me see. So I played it, paused it, played it again. So I kind of. I don't even play. I don't even play with them because I've seen them demonetize people without even a warning. You just demonetize. Period. Mm. Gotta be playing like a whole song and stuff like that often. But yeah, I play a little snippet here and there. Yeah, it's always going to be a one, and they tell you this is not a copyright strike. So, out of almost seven years, I've never had a copyright strike. Mm -mm, me either. Just warnings. I don't even play. And if I know I have something copyright, I'll delete it before I even let it post. Yeah, that's why I keep my stuff private before mm -hmm. I post it. I want to see if there's something that I didn't hear maybe that they picked up, because they, they hear everything. It could be down the hall something playing it. You didn't hear wow. it. You too heard it. That's why people always wonder when I'm in the store and I'm like, hey, I'm going to mute you. I can hear the music. <laughs> and I will mute them. And they're like, what happened? And they already know. It could be a, an instrumental. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. So do you still take classes yourself? Mm -hmm. Ongoing, like, training classes? If it's something I'm interested in. Gotcha. But not, like, for updates, like how... How uh, physicians and pharmacists and all those people have to keep to keep mm, themselves. No, they don't really have classes like that. Classes like that for classes for us are someone knows something and they want to profit from it, so they're gonna teach it. That's how uh, our classes are. Uh, but for your license, you have to do continuing education. This is HIV though. Oh. It's the same class every single year, unless something changes in HIV and AIDS. Yeah. It's the same class. Over and yeah, over and over. Kind of every two years. Your license expires every two years. I say that's the longest. That's why they can keep 
And you don't even have to do that class. If you take a class from someone that is registered as a continuing educator, you can claim your hours from that. So you don't even have to do that. Oh, so we are, you, that's it. That's we have to do HIV. Anything about this? Bloodborne, yeah, bloodborne illness. I did that this morning. Oh, we're driving the truck. Yeah, he has to do training, regular, like every three months. Take three days. We have to do COVID now, domestic violence, trafficking. Yeah, well, so I do not miss that. You have to be able to spot the signs if somebody nice. comes in and being trafficked. Mm -hmm. I didn't do one today about oh. suicidal drivers. I'm like, never heard of that. It's like, <laughs> Usually you want to kill somebody, not kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> the part they don't make you want to do is traffic. They do. They do. Yeah. I was gonna say because they yeah. probably would see that in the profession as yeah. you being able to recognize someone riding people around in their trucks. Yeah. That's especially around here. But some of the tests you take are like the same thing. They have hair smuggling. And they're open book. We can put it on because they nah, can't see it. It's, it's all on the computer. Your hair is blocking your face? And so it's like you have to watch a video and then you answer some questions. If you get it wrong, it says try again. And then you get it, try again. It's like, oh, okay, I missed that one. And then you get 100%. It's like, well, no, I didn't really get 100%. <laughs> but how long did you do nursing? Two years. Two years. Yeah. 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 No one, no one likes it, so join the team. They have a database that if you don't take it, it pings you and say you can't renew your license. Right. Until you complete it. Right. And every last one. I had one this morning that was, it said it was expired. I think I was supposed to be done. I think I was supposed to do it like back in May or something like that. My they went in straight long ago because I was passing meds and I wasn't even supposed to be passing meds. But they were short staffed. Mm -hmm. yeah, like they had me passing medicine. Yeah. I could have been given the people the wrong medicine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But like you just yeah. said, they didn't short staffed. Yeah. Because for them, the consequences of them not getting any meds versus. Right. Yeah. 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 But it's good to know about it, like what it's doing, what it's, you know, all that stuff. That's cool. You're doing a science project. I like, I yeah, love my I hair. Love and hair. And seeing if it floats or sinks. Oh, it's too funny. Yeah. I'm just to put it up. Was that me and Kat that feel like that? My bad. So I probably did this, mm -hmm. honestly, before you got in the chair, because I heard water hit the um, floor and I was like, not her hair, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I did pretty good for you this time. Anytime, if my client, I'm like, hey, what are you getting done? Even she was like, I'm getting a perm. I said, okay, you getting a relaxer? All right. There's a huge difference in terminology when it comes to that stuff. I'm real funny. I used to say that a lot because for many years I thought a perm No, a perm is curly. A perm is a jerry curl. Walk into walk into a hair cuttery of all Caucasian people and say, "Hey, I wanted to get a perm." They're gonna take out a little blue box and they or a little red box and they're gonna say, "Okay, which wave pattern did you want?" That's a perm. Because they get a perm to curl. They get perms. I think a big perm for Fridays. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. See, and what was his hair? Curly. Curly. Yeah. Funny. I've always thought he had rollers in his head. Was it, was it, was it big worm or big perm? Big, no, big worm was big his worm. name. I thought he had a big perm because he had it. It was it looked curly. And that's what I thought his name was. Uh, <laughs> that's too called big perm. He had it relaxed, and so Smokey was being funny. Smokey was being funny. He's supposedly a, a local here. Um, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Uh, oh yeah. He lives in, or he used to. I don't know if he still lives there, but Alapa, up in. Oh, uh, Alapa Lakes. That's where right um, my mom used to work for Shaquille and his mom in Alapa. I didn't even know Alapa was still there. Is it still there? Mm -hmm. Alapa was in yeah. Lake Mary. Alapa, right, but it's, it's still, still there. It's a like, subdivision called yeah. Alapa. Yeah, they have the a, they have a second phase now. They have Alapa Bay and Alapa Lakes. I didn't know they were still there. Yeah. I thought they was the new. No, it's actually very highly thought after to be lived in. Yeah. They overpriced the houses now. Yeah. I'm sure they did. One of the first house that we were going to get, it was in Aliqua. I did work in there for home theater installation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice place in there. But the newer phase, the newer one is is the nicer homes. The older one, the homes are the homes are actually very old in there. Not updated at all. No, they keep them updated, but it's still a very old design. You can tell that it's not a new design. What were they pricing? They don't have that four air conditioning. Uh, when we were looking at that time, it was starting at 1.2 going up. Like 5,000, 6,000 square feet. But at 1.2, that was like they didn't take care of it. The ones that they were taking care of, they were even higher. And Some of them are like two. I saw one for like three. Like there was one house that was big enough that they were building a second home in front of the original home. Like it was that much property. It was really nice. Hi. Nice and high. Which is a shock. I did not want no brand new house. Like, it's going to always be like that. It's high, honey. It's the older house. It's the older built house. Well, so you can I think they're building them now for a hurricane. Like, we have a roofing company that's supposed to do a roof at some time. But they do last up for a Mine, where we live now, is 5,600 square feet. To give or take, on the acre of land. You don't want to know what our mortgage is, though. It's nice and high. But that's something to work for. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's super high too. Every time we pay the mortgage, I, I'm, when I say cringe, cringe is a word, boy. So I know yours. A certain well, percentage of the roof and Florida. But you have four sections here, too, so it's not a lot of people to be allowed to come in and build our roof. Oh, it can be filled yeah, in now. It's definitely yeah. missing. So. Yeah, but with it being of course and gray, this area will continue to grow and pop. Yeah, no, I didn't have to do that. It's kind of coming in. And it's a lot of people. 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 It's you sure? How often do the lady get her hair flat ironed? Not very often because her hair is starting to revert. She got the back. So that's normal. I can tell a client who doesn't get their hair straightened very often because it's, as I'm silking her, it's starting to go. So how you counteract that, you can use a little bit of Sebastian Shaper and then hair that is on. 
hair that is um, more coarse in texture, you can use a little bit of oil as well, and that helps to kind of silk it a little bit better. See, that's why I was like, oh, I need to cut this down. That's why I wear cargo pants. Sometimes I'll be in a lot of things and he'll just say something funny and like, oh, I, it's just like, well, like, just the jokes and it helps. She would hurt herself and sometimes I was like, oh, praise God, I was like, thank you Lord for hurting Sandra. <laughs> no, I say, I say, because it says, be thankful for every evil. So I'm always like, my heart was like, thank you, Lord. That's okay, thank you. He's like, thank God for his sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think the curl is better. Yeah. I'll just make them loose, but you can wrap it. Oh. So we're going to do a loose curl. It actually holds a lot better than her hair being straight. Being straight is just saying, please revolve. Go back. That's why I do that. So with the curl, she'll be able to wrap her hair, and then it will just kind of go more and more and more poofy or reverted over time. That's the goal. It's not a prime. That's the goal. What is the time that we born? Oh, that's probably one of the old people, child. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't eat it. They grace it. Grace one. That's why I stopped, I stopped trying to read some of them because I know grace is only like, uh-uh. <laughs> She'll tell you, this page is not for you. I'm telling you guys, you don't see me bring out a curl. I do not use curling irons in here. I don't have patience for it. I don't even have a curling iron at home. I don't even own a curling iron at home. There's some some good ones out there. I just I don't have a need for it. I guess you really have to know how to do it with a flat iron. And it has to be a good flat iron that has a good bevel on it. Not all flat irons you can curl with. So I have some that I will not curl with. Because it can come out crimpy looking, right? Mm-hmm. Because the bevel, there's no bevel on the, on the plate. Oh, okay. You can put your nose. I don't have flat irons. Put your nose. Yeah. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. I do see, like you said, the gray strands of her just kind of sticking out. Oh, they do their own thing. They're yeah. their own person. That is so interesting. I never. They have their own life. They need their own care, and you can never care for them because they are too in between. So they're just in, in the face of species. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just lay it down. It's great. It is what it is. Wisdom. So yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. That's what I try exactly. to say. So you can see the gray. Like I can, they literally will poke out. And all of her hair will lay down, and that gray hair will not move. It will literally do whatever it feels like doing. And then hairstylists will spend hours. It won't lay down. It won't lay down because it's not supposed to. That's what it does. So, so I don't pay it any attention. So if someone comes in with full gray hair. <laughs> Typically, if they're full gray, either it's really, really wiry or it's really, really soft. Okay. So if it's really, really wiry, then I just, I kind of already know how to work with it. I guess it's kind of just for me. Like yeah, I can do something with anybody's hair. Oh, okay. And there's no in between. Because the lady you had today, she was really soft. And mm -hmm. I remember you had one that was really like hard. Wiry. Feeling. Yeah. You just have to know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. So you can do something. Oh, no, I just want to just find another one. <laughs> That's like when you have someone oh, yeah. who has coarse textured hair it. and you're curling them. Like that hair likes oil but not too much oil, so it can't be heavy. That's why I like to use silicones rather than oil. And then it lays better, it curls better, it melts better, meaning it melts together. Uh -huh. And it keeps it tamed. Oh, and then someone, hair? coarse texture. Oh, okay. And then someone who doesn't have coarse texture here, you don't want to use too much oil, you don't want to use too much silicone because then it melts it too much. It just makes it hard and heavy. Oh, okay. But that you just learn that from experience. Like you learn that from like working with different hairs. Mm 
long. That's why you guys don't see me. Like, I'm not really paying attention to the gray. Because it's not really something that I can make a change to. I just know how to mask it and make it look good after I'm done. Most stylists, that's why you end up going straight and can't revert. Because they spend this whole time trying to get this gray to melt with the rest of the hair. And when I say melt, meaning to, like, blend with the rest of the hair. And it doesn't. It will never. And if you guys see like I get stuck and you see me like shaking the iron, that is how you get the hair through the plates of the iron without pulling her hair out. So it's all from experience. All from learning. Jacking up a couple heads. <laughs> it all came from there. Wondering what I did wrong. Why it didn't do what I needed it to do. And I practice and practice and practice and practice. And clients sometimes don't even know I'm pra just practicing in your head, too. Mm -hmm. That was a good practice to wash all of that hair. Wow, it's thick. It's easy. Girl. I've been doing, I guess because I've been washing for so long, there is no head that has ever defeated me in a shampoo. I had to make sure I got every single part. It was a lot of hair. She probably felt like she was in the chair wherever it was. And the I have clients that'll come in like, girl, your work's going to be cut out for you. I'm like, no. <laughs> I still give you a wash and, and de de um, detangle and blow dry in the same amount of time the person with short hair. The same time. You'll be surprised that shorter natural hair that's coarse is harder to work with than longer natural hair that's coarse. Because shorter natural hair, it won't, it won't do anything. It just sits there. And then it tangles as you go. Whereas longer hair, I can detangle you in seconds. I don't understand. I got to show you. You won't be I can't really explain it. Short natural hair takes more than long natural hair. I'd rather a client with long natural hair than short natural hair. That's just because you don't know what you do. <laughs> so why did you hire me? They said she hired the best. Listen, it like, comes from experience. Like you're me. never gonna know how to do everybody's hair. I'm telling you, because every person that walks through that door has something different going on. Every single one of them. So they could have really, really long hair and it'd be really, really coarse, or they have really, really long hair and it's really, really fine and it's like cotton and it pops as you're detangling. Or they can have really pretty relaxed hair. Relaxed hair tangles the most when it's wet because it's so flat. It can be anything. I'm looking for it, Marshawn. I don't see it. Something about an email. The lady with all the threads and the Claremont. Oh yeah, the she's world's. Going, she's gonna come in here. Yeah, that's Well, her husband is a hairstylist. Is he? Not? He's a hairstylist. He does her hair. She's in the Guinness Book of World Thank you, hashtag. Hashtag says, Shade, you're doing a good job and you're funny. Thank oh. you, hashtag. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use some Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum to help tame those nice silver streaks that she have up in the top part. So you just take your hand and you just run it through. Yes, okay. please send it again. I don't see it. You just run it straight through real easy. This is going to help her to have some longevity in her hair, too. And it's going to be nice and flowy. And then when you go home, you wrap immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you just... More to look loose than wrap. She <laughs> is so silly. The wordplay. I'll say. Well, thank you, Gracie. Just like regular. There you go. Looks like a weave. Yeah, 
So see why I said don't worry about the grays? Because as soon as you put a little serum on there, it just lays right down. Not for long, right? No, it'll stay down. Mm -hmm. Silicone holds. They all say beautiful, very nice. I love her hair. Look at that healthy hair on her, beautiful. <laughs> And then I sprayed a little bit of Sebastian Schaefer. It'll keep her hair at bay. When you spray it, don't mess with it. Just let it sit on the hair. And then she'll wrap her hair when she gets home. All right, let me give y'all a second. Give me a second. You can put it back so, so you can see your own hair. What happens if she doesn't wrap her back Good. Good. It'll start to swell. Oh. And because she's not used to it, it's gonna it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to swell. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But you don't want it to, so it wasn't like this. Oh, right. You normally don't wear it straight? No. You can tell. Oh. How long is your ride home? Um, I think it's 15 minutes. Oh, okay. You'll be fine. As soon as you get home, though, definitely wrap it up. <laughs> okay? All right. I'm going to turn you guys this way for a second. So, so right. I can get up. So, why not wrap it up? <laughs> she want to look, she look like something. Go home. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You wrap the other people hair. Because they tell me to. Oh, okay. Yeah, My fine. gosh. So you want to wear it down outside? She's going to look like somebody. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with that. I used to have a wrap mine because by the time I Maybe she needs somebody to see it. Because as soon as you leave the door. Who's going to do phones on your hands? I saw you have crystals. Let me show you my hair before it reverted. That's you. See? All right. I just leave it wrapped until the next day. Okay, so I'm going to go with you. Yeah. But I have to wrap mine before I leave the lunch. Pre-treat. Before I lock my hair. So as soon as I hit the pre-treat, that's the most important. It's like by Afro again. Like, what's the purpose of keeping blowouts and it's not going to stay? Yeah. Well, mine was relaxing because the humidity is just drop, get flat. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would just wrap mine to the holes on to the next day. And then it just, it'll hold. Marshawn, I see catch. you. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. the, just anything that says soothe and balance is three products. Pre-treatment, shampoo, and mask. That's what the conditioner was that was on your hair today. So the soothing balance only has three products. You'll see all three. Oh. Lena, you missed it. We had a whole class on it, on the porosity. Bobby Brown was singing the Yeah, song Bobby part. Brown was singing it, everything. You missed it, Lena. It'll ask you. Oh, okay. Can you put what you want? You back in and look at it. Today. Yeah, we don't have to. I still have my reader because not everybody can do it. Right, can you fill that out and then put your email so you can get a receipt, okay? Oh. Ready? Marshawn asked, okay, I want to know. Yeah, you want to go in your chair, Sandra? Huh? You want to go in your chair? Yeah, I'm gonna sit in that. Well, I'm gonna tell you, eventually your back is gonna be nice and nice and tired. Uh, no. Or just, if, I feel like I'm gonna fall, so I'm gonna lay back. Uh -huh. If he sends his email, can you or Crystal send me the name of the product that she stated? I think he meant earlier about what I need for ball spots so I can order it. If so, my email is. Okay, well, I can tell you what product you need right now. Make it real simple. Um, was this the one for the edges? No, the ball spot, I think, from wearing braids over the years. Okay, so you'll need the edge repair and restoration cream the Super Growth Serum or Nefertiti Serum, whichever one, they're both water-based. And then the Hair Repair and um, Hair Repair and Restore Shampoo, Hair Repair and Restore Conditioner. All of the products that I just mentioned are actually on the BOGO, so you can get two for the price of one. Two shampoos, two conditioners, two serums, and then the Edge Repair, that one is actually in a bundle that you can get that one with the um, Biotin Hair Mask together so all of those if you click the link in my description box right below so close your chat hit more and then go to the description box and go to elite um elite weekend sale you can get all of those products on bogo except for the edge thank you my dear can i get my thing back oh yeah <laughs> she's like i don't want to see you oh okay um so are you a christmas you booked on actually have to move people for christmas <laughs> so the next one's going to be till January. The first week of January. 
But keep like people. Actually, somebody canceled today. So if they cancel today, you can go on there when you get to your car and okay. see what they canceled. All right. And somebody, I saw it on my email just now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So anybody that cancels, it comes real time. So okay. you can check it. Like usually check it either Saturday, Tuesday, or Wednesday is the three days that typically you see cancels. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mama. Have a good weekend. So we're going to give her a light trim. She just got a relaxer today. Relaxer came out good. We can actually feel her scalp. Yes, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's, fun it's there now. She can feel the air. Oh, wow. No, you do not need a trim. Did we trim it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not trimming her then. Sorry, because her ends are nice and straight. Are we spoke too soon. Hmm? The result of your work. <laughs> okay, girl, you want your hair washed or you don't want your hair washed? No, I don't want my hair washed. Okay, so sit quietly. <laughs> you brought snack? No. Sounds personal then. It is personal. I brought Chinese food. I brought my Chinese from last night. One of the yeah. hairstylists down there has chips. <laughs> Is it one of the hairstylists down there? One of the hairstylists has chips? Mm -hmm. Like chips for sale? Probably. I don't know. You probably can actually know. go buy her because she sits right by our door. You can probably just go buy one. Just tell her you want to buy one. Yeah. Yes, there's a girl down there right down in the corner. I always see her chips. Yeah. And the barber dude, not the first barber, the other barber, the little. He, um, he has drinks. I always ask him, could I just buy one? Yeah. What? Yeah, wine. Well, you know, they offer their clients alcohol. I'm not going to be responsible for anyone leaving my shop. Okay? I have a lot to lose here. Uh-uh. No, normally they'll only give you one glass because the... That's a lot. Some of them be real toasted in there. She offers me one and I get one. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't drink. I just drink like a couple of sips. And I'm like, and you know why I don't give out wine anymore? Because I do chemical services and relaxer and wine don't go together. Oh, really? It heats up the core. Oh. Alcohol heats up your core. I see why people get so hot when they're drinking. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't offer alcoholic beverages of any sort. Number one, I have a lot to lose. I'm not just hairstylist crystal. Mm -mm. Number two, I'm not doing a relaxer. You just had a drink of wine and now your core is hot. So now your head is hot. I already have a hot flashes, so I don't See? definitely don't. <laughs> I, have, I have very mature clients. My mature clients can't really suffice. <laughs> they can't really sit in the chair for too long. They be over there sweating like a bullet, like, woo. Marshawn, baby, I, you couldn't get me yelled at. Don't ask me another question. Marshawn, you couldn't get me yelled at. I just gave all the answers. I'm not sending an email, unfortunately. Marshawn. Yeah, Grace, right hold, where's Grace? Grace in there? Cause Grace can. Grace, can you write down my answer to my Sean, please? Marshawn, I typed it in for you, and you can also get the drug stimulator too. Thank you, Grace. You can always go back in the YouTube. Yeah, you can rewind the live. People yeah. don't know that. Like, you just won't be caught <clears> in the comments. You can actually rewind it. Boy, Captain Swan. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Right in the corner, and just say, Hey, could I buy a bag of your chips? And sometimes they'd be like, No, just take one. Oh my god, I hope you got an EBT machine, girl. That's what I'm gonna walk down there with. 
Don't embarrass yourself. Just just make sure you bring your dollar. Girl, I'm gonna swipe it like a black card. I ain't gonna be embarrassed if you say no. I don't know. I go to the charity and ask them if they take their checks. I do checks. it too. I do it too. I mess with them every time. Some of them confuse them. Some of them be thinking I'm serious. Be like, oh, let me ask my manager. Check on that. Okay, Marshawn, I'm glad you got it. Just walk by, and as you walk by, you'll see them. It's when you get towards the curve, just start to look in the sweets, and you'll see chips on one of them. Okay. <laughs> the barber is the one with the bourbon. So when the in, inside of that is wine. A lot of the side of the thing they do. I don't know why yeah. they do it. I just, I don't see. I understand it's all about, you know, pampering and all of that. But why and hairstyles can join together. If you're getting your nails and feet done, yes, you can have a drink. That has nothing to do with your core. Is there a guy that's doing massaging down here now, too? I guess. There's one across from me, but she's never there. She's never there. Chips. Give girl the chips. <laughs> you like, oh my god, my clients. Bro, they ain't nobody no damn chips. If you sell them, I guess. I mean, my thing is, if somebody's willing to pay for it, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you already so got to go you buy it back. Dollar. Right. You bought, you bought the case for you're eight dollars. Fifty cents, cents. It's like you're selling it. That's what matters. No, nah, she called, hey, can I have one of your chips? Can I get one of No. But if I say I'm going to pay for your, your little bag, you're going to drop by my chip. This is why I don't ask people for nothing. <laughs> See, because I'm mad if y'all want your bag of chips. <laughs> you don't give me the chips. Crystal. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, y'all. I, I promise I'm not like that. I am not. <laughs> This time I want to want nothing from your place. That's your place that I'm bored. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you tell me no the wrong way. Man, you're dead. You're dead to me. I'm not saying we don't want you in New York or Detroit. Uh, that's okay. She's staying right on. <laughs> why she brought? Why you brought three bags of chips down here? Didn't you say but you got ladies? But that's the offering. Oh, well, you should have still left the dollar yeah, on I, well, I, I have to go to the car to get the money. Honey, I don't have it on me. So he stopped me twice. He was like, here, I'm going to give it to you. Well, that's sweet. I need him a dollar. Thank you. 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 Thank
They might be a little thirsty for the tips we have to buy. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, okay, thank you. I apologize. They thought you sold them. You see, wait till I get way down here and then open the door. Like, oh, but by the way, if you want one, I'll get them. He feel guilty. Mm-hmm, that's called guilt. That's how we're talking about the She's back, people. Yeah, for there you are. Thank you, dog. Yes, dog. Those grace. You see those grace. Yes, they are there, but they yes. won't go away. Oh, Don't worry. <laughs> Very pretty. Let's see. Let's see. I was always excited. That's a little, yeah. Pack, but you got 3,000 something. All right, Pack. Let me go check my fetch and see if I have another 60,000 coming from everyone. Evelyn says she loves walking the women's services and she's learned so much about Pam. And she has a question, Evelyn. where did you purchase your broom? I love it. Oh, the broom I got from Container Store. It's called Onda, O-N-D-A. You need to get yours free though. You get your broom with a box free, right? I don't know y'all have free, but not no Onda. Oh, oh, oh. I might get big out of the way, but it's okay for me. I'll drop that too. You can put her in my chair though. I need to have a fresh bag. Mm-hmm. From Lowe's. Whatever works, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever works. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. Oh, pretty eyes and pretty hands. That's Thank what you. I call her. Pretty oh, oh, well, ain't nobody talking to you. Thank 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 you. I need a mask now. I want to use my face. You want to see it? You wrap it up, Tony? Mm -hmm. You wrap it up? Yeah. Oh, can you do the, um, the burning? Yes, please. Thank you. 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 Right I know I'm worrying about it. Like, oh God. The maturing age changes. I'm sorry? So you're maturing in age. You might not mature in thoughts, but you're maturing in the age. Yeah. And so does the hair. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I'm not saying there's nothing you can do, but I wouldn't worry so much either. And then if you're menopausal in any form, that goes with it. In any form. Yeah. I am starting to worry a little bit, especially since you met with Shane. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
don't have much breakage. I can just see fitting. I don't see anything broken. Mm -hmm. But don't worry on it too much. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. You do your best with your hair. Yeah, I won't worry. Yeah. Well, I gotta get on. <laughs> oh, he's the one that's happening too wanna quickly. Be, right, I don't want to be. Oops. I got you. I, got you. I don't want to be um like you know disabled involved. <laughs> Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> My God. <laughs> no Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> Why she say? Like she don't want to be disabled and bald. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one or the other. That's what you got. You want to you want to pick your struggle. The other. You can't pick your struggle, honey. Exactly. Sandra is I guess it's God keeping me humble in many ways. So we're doing some tight curls on her, and then I'm gonna put her in a bun. She likes the curls. It likes the body. Well, no, because I want it to be tighter, so I'm using a smaller plate, which is just a one inch. Instead of me using, like, if I wanted it to be flatter, then I use the bigger one. But I want the curls to be nice and small, and then I'm also doing slightly smaller partings. They're like an inch. I don't need to do, like, super small. So I'm using the one inch black diamond ceramic. Breaking, that's not a good thing. Okay. But it's not breaking. <clears throat> My Dyson blow dryer is in my Amazon store. It says. I keep wanting to tell you, Sandra, turn your head to the side, please. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> turn your head. Turn it. I keep forgetting, like, uh, yeah, she can't. So just work it out. She's, she's very non-compliant. Listen, as I'm in the back of her head, right, I'm like, can you put your head down you in my head? And I'm like, never mind. She won't even stand up in church when you're supposed to stand up in church. <laughs> I just don't want to. I'm just going to have my stomach hurting over here. I can't do it. I'm just saying, you know. Why don't you allow them to stay in the salon today? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I guess because you just push it. Turn your head. Turn it. <laughs> I had to remind myself because I was going to tell you at first. I'm like, you put your head down? That's too I forgot. funny. Like, no. My aunt just snatches it. Like, when she's so I don't like that. Thing. I don't like stylists. That, I'm yeah, so funny with that. Like, don't, don't, don't touch you my head. Can you somebody though, doing that? Yeah. 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 Like, especially if they're unsuspecting of you doing it. You're yeah, not like, it's yeah, easier yeah, yeah. for me. And I feel this is more polite. Yeah. Hey, could you chin down for me? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. It's just polite. I don't. I yeah. know some people like just control my head. No, sweetheart, don't control my head. Yeah, yeah. Ask yeah. me to put my head down. Don't push my head down. Yeah, yeah. That is that is polite, like you said, not expecting. <clears throat> So we're going to put our hair into a bun. You guys can just kind of see what curls for the girls do. Yay. <laughs> Look at these edges here, honey. So we're going to spray a little bit of goddess polish. And then I'm going to straighten out our hair. Okay. Yeah, all the good. stuff she puts Smells on. are important. Yeah, everything smells really good. If it smelled like the trash can, would you buy it even though it grew your hair back? <laughs> I don't think so. If there isn't like any other salon that she used to go to, I wouldn't be here. Why? Because it smells. It, it does, it just smells like chemicals. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So, was it a big salon? No. No, she was in another one that was like like the, the like this complex here. At the studio. Up in um. Like why was up it? in Orange City. So all of the. And then some of the other ones. Chemicals? Yeah, these. More they just use chemical. Well, the chemicals they don't like her. Like Crystal stuff has pretty smells to them. This is just the chemical smell. That's it. Mm -hmm. The only thing that smelled pretty was when they sprayed the end product on. That was it. Hey Crystal, mm -hmm. do you mind putting it up a little higher so when I lay down at night it won't be mm -hmm. the hairpin won't be sticking to my picking in the back of the head. Well, do you lay down like you're supposed to? You say you don't stand up in church. But that's so that's something I want to do. So I, mm -hmm. I lay down what I want to. <laughs> when they tell I'll me to stand up, I'm like, I'm not standing up. I'll stand up if I want to, but no. <laughs> you are so silly. Okay, so what do you No, I can support myself, so it's not my muscles that are, it's just the joints. So mm -hmm. they don't allow, they're just damaged and deformed by my body, so it doesn't let me walk. So I can support myself, but not walk on my legs. Were you able to walk at one point? When I was little. When you were little? Yeah. So I got to, I'm blessed by that, I got to run and play, and throw still balls, that. stuff like that. But God, it just something that I was gonna get in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> you was being bad, Sandra. Just like a kid. And my dad was a preacher. He's he's dead now, but he was a preacher. And they say the preacher's kid. Oh, you're a PK. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that oh, yeah. is the worst. That was right. Yeah. That's the She's all bunned up, you guys. Thank you. That's good. <clears throat> Right. She's quick. It is two forty-five. This is this is late. This is late. Yes. She still needs to go to the warehouse. No, not today. I'm oh. about to wash my. Well, I'm about to get my hair washed. <laughs> oh, you going to get yours done? No, I'm going to do it myself. She's oh. going to the, she she the guy with the, the chips. <laughs> yeah, you're about to do it. What? No, you said you about to do it yourself. No, I didn't. Did you do a dance? No, what did you say? She's about to go down to the guy with the chips. Stick out the line. Nah, I'm about to do it myself. Yeah, you're going to do it yourself. Yeah, I'm about to do it myself. Girl, you just going to give me a simple shampoo. It's not even that serious. She ain't got but this much hair, but I'm still messing up. Exactly. That's too funny. You're so... Little so you guys get to watch Sade wash my hair. What happened to Sade? She got fired. Well, they said Sharon said you're such a faithful husband. They love it. And whenever you get the next equipment, that I think it's a relaxer because it'll be the beginning. They said Sade, you got this. Y'all better give us some encouragement because y'all already know. No, she's, she's, uh, Actually, I'm about to relax the size of my head anyway. 
Can I get the relaxer, please? Which one? A purple, um, normal. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, no, I just, I don't, I only put that thing on when she wraps it around the head. When she does that, this is fine. This one. <coughs> All right, Miss Sandra. Okay, thank you. I'll let you know before um, the yeah, first no week of December because I'm trying to figure that part out. Yeah, no worries. As long as you remember, I don't want to keep. No, I forget. I got you. <laughs> if you really got faith in me, let me put the relaxer. Girl, you're not uh -oh. gonna play with my relaxer. Uh -oh. you see? Uh -oh. My relaxer, I'm gonna pop my head. <laughs> nah. I can't mess up and decide to. Make nah, you gotta do my thing fast. My thing fast. Uh oh, y'all are too funny. I'm going to run with my real ass face. <laughs> you can wash it. You don't play with it. All right. Y'all take care, okay? Okay, my dear. All right. See you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye you too. Bye. 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 See you later. You're welcome. Bye. What shampoo do I need for you? No, I'm going to do yours first, honey. Why not sitting? Yeah, that's it. Well, unless it start burning. So they're about to watch you wash my hair. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I probably got all kind of stuff growing in here. Oh, don't worry, because I'm about to use the Flames Up shampoo. It's going to get rid of that little tinge of smoke and all. You know what? Don't be telling all my business, ma'am. I don't smell it, though. The person who washes If y'all are around people that smoke, do your hair smell like smoke? Even if you don't smoke, please yes. answer that. Especially if they smoke cigarettes. Would, if they smoke, not ganja, you know, cigarettes. You would be able to smell it. No. If you Cigarette. don't smoke. Cigarettes are black and mild. Any tobacco you'll smell. You won't smell weed. Junie smokes weed, but I don't even smell it on his hair. Because it dissipates. Tobacco sticks. Mm -mm. It stays. So it could yeah, be a black and mild. That. It could be a cigar. It can be anything that has a tobacco. I know it stays. Like I said, I can smell in cars and stuff, but they said yes. It's so true. No. Ain't if you're born, if you're born ganja, yet. ganja don't do nothing. Ganja is okay. Ain't enough people coming yet. I don't think y'all heard my question. They heard your question. You just wanted to get another answer. Uh -uh. <laughs> Y'all heard her question. Y'all like that. No, they did not hear my question. If you don't smoke and you're around someone that smokes. And I answered you. Will you stop confusing them so they can hear me? If you don't smoke, but you're around someone that smokes or live with someone that smokes, wouldn't you be able to smell the smoke in your own hair? People have said that. Like, if you don't smoke, you smell it first. My hair does not smell like smoke. I wish y'all had y'all can smell my hair. Can you come on? She don't like to listen. Hold on, they said we heard. No, okay. Hashtag you were just on my side a minute ago. They said we heard you, Shade, and they answered you already. The people have answered. Uh -huh. Let me put this down. Let me see if I can make it through processing my relaxer and wash out here properly. Um, where's my cake? What <laughs> the fuck? Really? <laughs> You want a cape? Y'all see this? Y'all, the, the moment she get a chance to come style me here, she's like, oh, where's my cape? Mm. See, she treat me different. Disrespect. My head stopped burning already. I don't want them all in my face. Give me a towel. Wait please. a second, please. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Make sure you relax on my nostrils. All of my nostrils. Well, even though you gotta be on my hair. Can you hold your hair up for me, please? All right, so we're actually going to use a men's shampoo and conditioner. And you'll see why in Darn. just a moment. So as a what can, can I, um, first and foremost, what? that's the wrong cape. If you're going to give me a cape, give me the right one. It was on the That's not the right track. one. No, because I already told you why. You want me to keep saying it? No, never mind. Okay. 
Thank you. So we're going to be using the Flames Up. Well, you can tell them because it's smoke in my hand. Yeah, because she doesn't smoke. Her mate smokes. But it's make smokes tobacco products. So we're going to be using the King Hair and Beard Wash with Hemp Seed and Rosemary. And then also the conditioner. It has a male scent to it, but it's not going to leave a male scent on her hair. It is actually going to help balance out the smell from the tobacco. Rosemary is one of those things that can kill smell. Okay. So we're going to rinse her down really, really well. Give her a nice... Boy, we're well, going another side, yeah. Oh, Lord. See? See? We mm. don't need you to look and do all that. You just here to watch, not examine. Can't even see the scalp. My Lord. <laughs> Wowzer. This is intense. <laughs> we're going to use a little soothing balance first. <laughs> Wait, I got dandruff or buildup? You have locks. Oh, Lord. Lord. Because I don't put product on my hair too much. Yeah, we're just going to put a little soothing balance pre-treatment inside the, the crevices of our scalp that we can get to. So I noticed you use that with people that got dandruff or just or build the smell too. Yeah, you can have to do it with the smells too, but this is more for the buildup. I mean, the only time you know is if you were getting your hair retwisted, that's the only time you're going to really spread them apart. Yeah. I do it when I wash it in the shower and stuff. I'm just gonna add a little water so it can start to kind of run down through her hair. Let me grab my charger really quick. <clears throat> Minty? Yeah, I like that feel. That feeling like eucalyptus and minty, yeah, that. It doesn't tingle as much like sulfur aid and that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that stuff stinks too. Turn to the side for me. This way. Mm -hmm. Turn to the other side. I went to look at the products you suggested for me. And I hope I picked the correct products. All right, so we're going to use this as our clarifier at the same time. So I'm going to wet her down. my head like I got fleas or something. Girl. Mm. I knocked my head off by the sink. Oh, Sorry. I'm trying, trying to spread to those locks out. More dementia. The more than you have now? Yes. Uh -uh. You guys see me squinting <laughs> because this menthol is intense in my nose. Yeah, it's strong, but it feels good on the scalp. How long does it take dress to dry? A long time. Yeah, that's why. Even I'm when you think it's dry, it's not dry. I'm gonna have it dry at home, because there's no way I would be under that dryer. And make sure I blow dry it too. Because like, it'll get moldy like if you don't dry them all the way. Mm -hmm. Like a mildew smell. I 
the water like super dirty. Or you can't see it because of the suds. Well, it's dirty, but I can see it. Mm -hmm. It's not setting like that. Because it's so dirty, <laughs> there's no bud. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clean here, suds. Nuh uh. Mm hmm. Dirty hair doesn't suck because it's mixed with oils and dirt. Well, no, that's really true. Like, so there will be no suds in the sink or barely in my hair. Right. Now, once it's clean, then you start seeing a bunch of suds. That makes sense. Like some other people have washed. I'm steady putting shampoo, and I know you said add water to make it lather. Sometimes it still don't set up. All right, so we're gonna do two things. My head is burning. My head is too. You mean burning? Not burning, but like that really tingling. I feel like it's on fire though, but a good fire kind of? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So I just put some of the King, <laughs> I put some of the King beard and hair wash in a spray bottle along with a little bit of water and it also has some Soothe and Balance in it. I'm going to spray her locks with that part. So if you have locks, you can also do this. Because remember, if you try to shampoo locks, you're not going to really shampoo them. Mm -mm. So we're going to spray this on her locks. And then also spray it in her scalp. And we're going to put a processing cap on. And while she shampoos me, it will sit on her hair. But this is also going to help to extract a lot of that smell, just like detoxing. So it's just like we're detoxing, but without apple cider. Because remember, you can't really shampoo the locks, can you? Yeah, no. I was going to say. They will never shampoo. So if you spray it, this will help. And then you let it sit with the processing cap on. It's the only time all that stuff comes out is if I detox it in a bowl with mm -hmm. some vinegar and stuff. So what is that again? The beard balm? This is the, this one, the King. It's called the King. Oh, okay. So I have this mixed with some water and some Soothe and Balance in a spray bottle. So you guys notice that her roots, they are sudding. Her hair is not going to sud. But I sprayed it on her hair to help extract a lot of that um, buildup and grime and grit and objects and all kind of something. Wait, not here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm spraying it with this and then you can also spray it in these areas that are hard to get to when you're washing. So that's why my locks never set up. Mm -mm, they're never going to set. And then the, um, the King actually has rosemary, hemp seed oil, and sandalwood essential oil. Sandalwood essential oil is also an odor neutralizer. That's why it's for men. That's typically why we use it on men. And this is one of your products too? No, this is Junie's product, Flames Up. Oh. So that's this one. It smells so good too. Good. So I'm gonna put a cap on her hair. I'll probably have to put two caps. I ain't got that much hair now. Cause if I put one cap on that one girl's hair that you did, I know one cap would fit on mine. I thought she was gonna need two caps. So I'm gonna split her hair in two. Oh, I need two caps for real? Mm hmm won't fit on one cap. These are these are not extra large caps. Mm. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna put it in one. Hold that one for me. I'm gonna show you guys how you deal with people when you have a lot of hair to work with tilt up for me. And then back here I'm gonna just split her hair again, because there's areas that you don't really touch.
So you notice her scalp is setting. The locks will not. Now I'll take another cap and then put this part in this cap. Hold that together. Mm -mm, I got it. See, that's how you do it when you have a client that has a ton of hair and you need to get it all in a cap. Or you can use a plastic bag, but we ain't got no plastic bag. Took down. She's trying to kill me. Oh, this plastic. There we go. Oh. Yay. She's trying to kill me for a Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. You want a cake? No. Just don't wet up my clothes. Don't wet? Don't wet my clothes up. Well, you should have got a cake. Okay, give me a cake. Front and I'm, back. I'm not, doing, I'm not doing this with you. She likes to wet my clothes up. And I don't want to choke you, so you put it on. I can't Yeah, see, <laughs> she told that you. Okay. See, I just okay, told ahead, you. Okay. Pull it. What? What? Do you, you want me to button it? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's the only way it's gonna protect my shirt. Wait. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Move back. Yes, please move back. You gotta move the chair. No, the chair's all the way back. You gotta slide down. Oh, I'm not used to this. Really, Crystal? I'm not. I don't sit in my own chair. Are you in there? I think so. Okay. You ready? Am yes. I just doing the side? Everything. Oh, everything. That's too burning. Hot. Too yes, hot. way too hot. Okay. Turn it down just a little bit. See? I'm about to get yelled That's at. That's good. And then for your client's ear, you bend it down. All the way down. Like that? But I'm wetting your face. No, because you need to tilt the, the sprayer. Tilt it down. That way? Tilt it down towards the bowl. There you go. The water's cold now. Really? The water is cold. It's it just warm. went cold. No, it went cold. Okay, now it's warm, right? Mm, so so. It'll work. It'll work. You gotta oh. tilt your client's ear down. It's basically how you drown in them. And I do a little bit. I should get the back of my head. Okay. And that's a trick too. You can tell them to turn to the side and you'll be able to see the back. Um, water's going out of my eyes. You, you, oh, your hair? Mm hmm. Okay. You got it all like on the side of your face. Me? Yes. What, relax it? Yes. Where? Right here. Oh, I'll wipe it off. Right. Okay. Tilt it down towards the bowl. You like to do your hair here? Huh? You doing your hair here? Mm hmm Oh, I'm drowning from my head. Put a towel, take a towel, and pull it around the front of your face. One of the long ones. Okay, put it around the back of your head. Okay. And then pull it up to the front of your head. Um, it's not the longer is. one. You got a longer one in it? Those other ones that we hate. Those are longer. Oh, these? Yeah, those are longer. Okay, what am I doing here? Hair next. Oh, the shampoo. Never mind. The conditioner, right? Mm-hmm. And you can push your hair back. Push push your hair back. With the, this? Yeah. yeah, push it back. There you go. And leave that on there? You don't have to. Just grab it when you leave it. There you go. Okay. So, um, no, that's the shampoo. Yeah, you just shampoo me. Oh, okay. I cheat. 
I see. I cheat on my relaxers, and I got some relaxer right here, too. Now, um, how do you pronounce that? Something pivotal bone? Gracie tried to correct me in the comment occipital section the other day. Bone? Yeah. Okay, so what's that right there? That's not the occipital. Occipital is where your hand is, the ridge in your head right there. There? That's your occipital bone. And then we get them sides where she yell at me about that. Yeah, that's relaxer. I'm gonna bone up my face. My ear's already burnt. I had some relaxer on my ear, I didn't even know. Oh, it's burnt right now? You can feel it? Mm -hmm. It'll go away, it's not like that. So this isn't those shampoos like they had they sell in the little relaxer kits where it changed colors when you still have relaxer some, to let you some know. Some companies do, some don't. Some are color activated, some are not. So you just got to be good enough, I guess. Rinse no, it that's why you should yeah, you can rinse it. That's why you should do two, at least two normalizers. So your head is huge. I'm trying to get all around. You know, you don't have to wait to think that my hair is huge. My head is huge. I know that. Oh, okay. I've had this head all my life. I'm like, we don't need a water hose because this is not gonna work. It's such, it's such hateration <laughs> here, boy. I'm sorry, I'm wet at you. Okay. I do be forgetting to tell them to turn your head. I'll be trying to go around them. Yeah, you can turn, turn that way and then you look over. Keep them from getting wet. Yeah. Okay, you want me to wash your hands? One more time with the normalizer and then you pour a little bit of the hair repair. Yep. Okay, so put some of that in your hand. Mm -hmm. And then the amount you put in your hand, you're going to put half of that size in hair repair. Shampoo. Um, right now? On uh -huh. top of this? Uh huh. Okay, let me wipe my face before I'm drying again. Okay. Nope, that's gentle things. The black. Just black? It's white oh, bottle, no. black label. This one. Yep, so just a little bit of that. Okay. Take the smell away. Now I'm washing my hair blind. All this stuff is rolling in my eyes. You don't have the thing? You better stop and wipe your face. I can see a little bit. But Sandal I have would, soap Sandal on my would hand. burn your eyes like you better wash your Yes, hand. it's just burning. Hold on. Okay, you can see what is it? Sandalwood? Is that? It's an essential oil. It's very strong. Rosemary, too. The rosemary will burn you, too. Okay. You scared this? Can you wash my head? What? Scratch my head, man. Okay, and she told me not to up do here, that. Up here, I have a relaxer up there. Oh my gosh, I can scratch the sides of my head all day. I can't touch the top of my head. How does that feel? Is that good enough for no, you? No, you're is not even you using want? your fingers. Oh my God. What do you want me to dig into your skull? Yes. Oh, okay. I That's remember my I hair like stays it. styled on the top, not on the sides. I cannot scratch the side. I can scratch, the, I mean, I can scratch the sides. I can't scratch the top. Okay, I got you. She be over here tickling the client's head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, She's I like, told tickle, you tickle, to scratch tickle, my tickle, head tickle, like tickle, I got tickle, fleas tickle. and you didn't do mine tickle, like tickle, that. Tickle, tickle. Yep. Nope. Let's scratch my head. See, Man, I scratch my head. That's body. what I do. I scratch my own because y'all don't be going hard enough for me. When you scratch, look how I'm scratching. This makes the blood like literally flow. Well, so you take your fingers like this. But I would have to get around like this, right? Right. So you're going side to side. That's because I'm doing it to myself. Mm -hmm. but when you're doing a client, it's like that. And it actually goes with the shape of the head. So the blood starts to go. Woo, woo. And then you. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. all hey, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they're saying right now about Why this. Why are y'all so funny? You are a difficult client. I'm trying to so I can wash your hair out before you go blind. 
a hot. Mm, really yeah. hot. See, I like mine hot. It's I don't like me. hot water like that. I do. It feels like it itches it for me. No, it doesn't. It burns. I think other people will third agree degree burns. It, it feels like it itches. Like if your scalp itches really bad, that's what you it feels like. You cold water if your scalp itches really well, bad. Well, yeah, I know you're supposed to. Like, that's the correct thing to do, but... I wasn't closing anybody's ears. That's how they were Yeah, you have to. You have to tilt their ear to close. Here I know. Because I'm like, how am I going to get the soap out? I wet you? Yes, keep the nozzle turned towards the sink. Wait, let me oh, practice sorry. this. That part you're doing fine. Just gotta remember uh -huh. to push the water out from the, with your hand. So if you're using one hand, mm -hmm. also when I'm doing yours, you'll see how it feels and you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Because I um, wet the floor today, I think it's trying to get right here, mm -hmm. like above the ear. Well, if you push the ear down, then you can get there. Okay, now what? Can you put some B7 conditioner? B7, the what blue is one. B7? The blue conditioner. Um, hold on. Blue label. This? Yep. And then I'll put a cap on and I'll finish washing over here. Wait, that's not enough, right? Okay, I don't know how much it's I don't know. Well, it's your product. I can use the whole damn bottle on your head if I want, right? No, ma'am. <laughs> I'm still very you frugal. You still frugal? Yes, even I don't with care your head. My own head. No, I'm being frugal. You have to extend it. Oh my gosh! That's exactly why my products are designed. The little goes a long way on purpose. What um scent is this one? This is not the Jolly Rancher one, right? This is it. Yeah, it's just not as strong as the shampoo. Thank you. You welcome, Jolly. We're playing in the water, yeah. Huh? I don't know, I didn't realize that until the shirt came out. I'm still in food for I've seen it about two hours ago. Y'all talking about a comedy show, really, y'all? <laughs> Come on back. <laughs> Alright, so we use the the king there we go it was the king beard i can't i cannot work with this on my body with the cape yes we use the king hair and beard wash with rosemary and hemp seed so i sprayed some on her hair we had it in a spray bottle and then i'm gonna wash her hair now we'll rinse out everything that i sprayed first and then we will wash her hair again with it So you guys notice how her hair, it just absorbed everything? That's what dreads do, you guys. It absorbs any and everything. But it is a great neutralizer. All right, you see how I pull it out? Like, so you have it toward, against my head? Mm-hmm. I don't... Try to, if you try to tilt it on the head, it's not going to work. You keep it against the head, it stops them from getting your back wet. How does your scalp feel? Mm -hmm. How does your scalp feel? It feels fresher and more clean. Like that tingling feel. Sorry, I'm pulling the edge apart. I'm not tender here. That's all. You know, when I get it re twisted, they have to pull every single one apart to be twisted. So you, you wash your husband's hair the same? He got the wicks, right? He has wicks now, so he goes to a wick specialist. But before he had his wicks, when it was just his dress, yeah. mm -hmm. so but yeah. But he has fine texture. Yeah. No, he don't. I don't wash them. He gets it done once a month. Oh, okay. Once a month? That's still a lot. Mm -hmm. And this here is expensive. 
What do you think I like $400 for? Well, you have really long hair, too. It's almost to his knees. What? Some of it is to his, like, below his bottom. Then he has one that, like, touches the back of his thigh. Girl, I'm thinking he got, like, short wigs. Like no, this. his hair is long. Oh, my goodness. Girl, that's what I thought wigs were. I thought wigs stood up. No, he I don't have that. That's what he gets a He ain't got get to wigs. <laughs> he, he got real wigs. All right, so I'm using some more of the King Beard and Hair Wash. As if I got a beard and a mustache. But it's going to make your hair smell nice. Ooh. Why does that part always itch more than anywhere else? The crown. Do I see the difference in how it's setting now? I can hear before, when we got to her ends, <laughs> that shampoo didn't even touch. <laughs> and then when you get here, remember, locks is hold, they hold whatever is in it. So at this point, this is when you really want to start to squeeze out anything that's in the hair so it'll come out in your shampoo. See how quick she's turned on that water? I Girl, scratched, I scratched her. her head for 35 minutes. She scratched mine for 3.5 minutes. Look, look, it's itching. 3.5. Look, look. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. You're done? I think so. Uh, it's right there. Okay. Y'all see how she do me? I bet you her scalp is clean, though. Yeah. It feels really clean. Hold on. Okay. So now they're stuck together? I'm not sure if they're stuck together or you're joining them. These two things. No, I'm not joining nothing. They're probably stuck. Some ponytails and stuff. I'm not hurting her, you guys. I'm just pulling them apart. Help me. Help. You would never do retwists. Why? I used to do it for Judy. I ain't doing no more retwists. Why? It takes too long or you just I don't like, like repetition. Do I don't oh. like anything that requires me to do the same thing over and over. That's why I don't do braids. Um, My brain doesn't work that way. After a while, I'm like, why did I sign up to do this? Yeah. And braiding and all that stuff is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Time consuming. Now, you see, I didn't put any more shampoo in her hair. I'm gonna give her one last scratch so she can't leave me all the one. There's the top, yes, right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. It feels so good. Keep going, that wasn't enough. Shut it. You're, you're I just started feeling it. Oh my god. Y'all see? She's a big teaser. That's what that is. She's got a good scratch. I scratched her three times. Too much scratch her on. That was like one and a half times. I want all day scratching. Now I'm about to have my daughter do it. She's going to be mad. I'm going to tell her you started it. Now she got to finish it. Kalani. So now it's just rinse, 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 rinse. Get all of that build up out of her hair. Squeeze and rinse. Nice you can tell the difference, and even your skin glows after you leave, like the wash bowl. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, I've always noticed that. Like I look darker before I get my hair washed, and then once I get my hair washed, I look lighter and my skin looks more clear. 
Okay, the hot water isn't it for you. See, scalp nice and clean. Hair smelling nice. You can see the steam coming off her head. <laughs> I love it. It's only like two of your clients like super hot water like me. I like it boiling. Like, give me third degree burn. Send me to the burn unit. I'll deal with the consequences later. Wringing it out. Because you had to squeeze out whatever is left in the hair. Let's, let's do an evaluation of her scalp. <laughs> can you see it now? I can. What? And then at this point, you pull apart anything that's stuck together, which none of them are anymore. And then you won't be able to see a scar. I got a scar up top in the middle. All right, so we're gonna put some, where are we at? I have one, here we go. The Duke Rosemary Conditioner. We're not gonna use a lot of conditioner, you guys. You cannot condition this part of your locks. Once they lock, conditioning is going to do nothing. So you want to condition the free hair, okay? The hair that needs to be locked. So that when you do lock it, it has been conditioned enough because it's going to now have to stay locked. Locked hair tangles. It does not grab any type of conditioning, you guys. So it's all this free hair. That's why it's important to condition your locks while you are well, right before you're going to get them retwisted and all that stuff. Go ahead and do a deep conditioner at home. So don't put it on the actual locked hair? You, well, said? you can still put it on there, but it's not going to make a difference. Oh. Tangled hair absorbs nothing. And that's what locks are. So really you wanna work hard to condition the hair that is not locked so that when you do lock it, it's nourished, it's strong. And then you can also do the same thing, a concoction of water, and you can use the Duke conditioner, water conditioner, put it in a bottle, spray it all over your hair, and do the same thing again with a processing cap. I could order that on your site too. No, you go to the, the shampoo conditioner and the oil, it comes as a bundle. Mm -hmm. So you can go to flamesup.net. That's Junie's site. Flamesup.net. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to get all three. I think it's $29 or $27 or something. You get all three. Yeah, I gotta get that. Can you smell it? I actually... Hold on. Yes, I can. I, was I still say, smell smoke. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I cannot smell it. Well, maybe I've gotten used to it and immune to it. So maybe no. that's why. That's good as you. I can smell it. It's not bad. Not like before, because it was humming. Really? Somebody was humming. <laughs> it was like a hum. <laughs> hum. Slap <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Uh, but no, it smells good. I would use this, even though it's for men, but I would use it. Because you don't smell, you're not going to smell like a man right. when you're done. Because but, the purpose of it is to just neutralize. That's like women, where if you notice women woo! who wear cold, you huh? You could have warned me. Women who wear women's woo! perfume and it doesn't stay. Mm -hmm. If you wear a man's perfume, a woman will pick up the notes from a man's cologne. I said you perfume. You got ice in that water, too? Oh, no. my God. This is not what these people are feeling when I'm rinsing their hair with cold water. Oh my god. Oh, it is so cold. But it's good for your hair. Woo! That cannot be what they're feeling because they would have jumped out of this chair. It's not that bad, but yes, that's for people. Is. People who like extremely hot water, this is like iced tea. Oh, oh my god. It literally felt like ice, and I wasn't feeling that on my hand. Well, you know, now that you can feel your scalp, you're feeling this water, you know? 
I wasn't feeling water before. No. The pettiness. The shade pack. The shade. He said I'm a mess. Because her hair was humming. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going down the locks and squeezing out any excess product. <laughs> <laughs> Who's talking about me? They said I'm a mess. Hey, you see how much product is in her hair still? Because that's what locks do. They soak up whatever and they hold whatever. All kind of dirt, debris, objects, dead animal, all kind of something. They're not them to hear ya. Lent, telephone. Mm hmm Everything. Toenails. Bed bugs, all kind of something. Toenails, Lice. Hey, food. Nah, you going a little bit too far. Anything that anything that we pick up in the environment is inside the locks. <laughs> she a lie. I'm just so proud, y'all. I promise. Oh, I know I gotta get all the conditioner out of here. Ugh. Oh my god, that stuff is cold. I'm gangsta. I'm gangsta. I gotta say that three times to myself. Hold on. I'm gangsta. I'm gangsta. I'm gangsta. This is nothing. Nothing. All right, you guys. See, she's she survived. She'll be fine. So I'm gonna start in the front. I was just putting on the show, that's all. And I was gonna squeeze her hair out. If you guys notice, I'm squeezing it and working my way up. I hope you don't think I might sit up under your dryer. You're not. Oh. Because I'm not staying here with you. Oh. I gotta go under the dryer myself, but not with this long of hair. Oh, you gonna sit under the dryer and dry? Where? For a week. Because that's how long it's gonna take. I'll sit with you for a little. Until your wrist dries. My hair dries in like 30 minutes. That's on high? What? Like it dries in 30 minutes on high? High heat? You are forgetting so like here. No, I'm thinking it would take less. That's oh, no, because it's molded, so it's going to take about that. Oh. I hate this. <laughs> that towel will not dry here. That towel will not dry here. Microfiber towels it's do not dry, dry nothing, here. Nothing, anything. That's why I skip over those towels, unless you have no more. That's my last resort. No, the bundle is $29. The flames.net one. So if you go to flamesup.net, you'll see the bundle is $29. There's two. So there's the sale bundle, which is the same thing as the original bundle. So you'll see two. One is $29. That's the one you want. They're both the same. Good. All right, my dear. Yeah, I see all this long, luxurious baby hair down my back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever product you had in your hair, now it's coming out. That leave-in conditioner, which I shouldn't have put in there. Mm hmm it's right there. Whatever she had in her hair. I put it all around the sides. Um, in the edges, I'm doing ponytail, and maybe it will get in the middle here. Mm-mm, just in some of them. Mm. I can see it coming out. All right, my dear. Thank you, darling. Can you yeah. rinse me? Yes, my dear. Wait, I got what I wanted now. I'm gonna go home. I'm just trying to put my little food in my She believes me, y'all. She's about to cry. Who? You were. I've been in here all by myself a long time, okay? <laughs> I can survive. <laughs> long time. 
Mm, my food stinks. What is that? Orange chicken or something? Mm, chicken and broccoli. Oh, that's why. I love the broccoli, but it stinks. Um, what am I with you? Cold this, water? Yeah. And you about to be a Not my fave. Nope. I hate it, but I'll take it. Can you comb through the front part of my hair? Comb first? Yes, please. This is her way of having me scratch her head. No. See how she's done? That's it. Mm. So let's see. I'm going to go to his site, flamesup.net. I mean, so you go to do the shop. And in the shop section. Did I do it right? Yeah, just rent it. So I mean, putting the thing on the shelf, so I won't share the water. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Okay. Right here. It's right there. $29. So if you scroll down, you will see it. It's 29 It's on page two. Oh, I got it. Now they can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh. So the shampoo, the conditioner, and the um, scalp serum, or beard serum. I say scalp, but beard is scalp to me. But it's all $29 for the whole bundle. And what comes with it again? The shampoo, the conditioner, and the strengthening oil. So the stuff you sprayed and mixed with water, what was that? That was the King shampoo. Like, they call it wash. Men say wash. I say shampoo. But men say wash. Oh, wait. Mm -mm. I still see the bad colors at the front. Well, maybe that was your gray. I thought, I'm not kidding. I saw something white. Come on. <laughs> Well, maybe that was your gray. I don't even have that much gray. Don't do me like that. <sighs> you got about the same amount as me, I think. How many you saw up there in the back or in the middle? Yeah, you have a ton. I do? Well, yeah. Your age is showing. I'm not aged. I'm, I, mine is more wisdom than age. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> then it's going to rain. It's, your, your thing is wetting up the chairs. Is it? Yes. No, just yours. Crystal, you say you got three for Christmas presents? Yes, girl.
hear what's coming. Now her hair smells nice. get her started y'all Because I want to dry today, I'm using these papers. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I know y'all wanna ask me a million questions, but let me eat my food first, please, thanks. You want to taste? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, thank you. Don't be front of your face up to my food. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> mm. well, thanks for the offer. I appreciate it. Mm. Pack said they want some. Mm. It is not that good after warming it up. You ain't eating it fresh. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. What <laughs> my business? Thank you, Grace. Right. 
June, you use your moon spice today on Cornish hens. Delicious. I'm glad. If my dad was on here, he'd love to hear it. Okay, Crystal. Thank you so much. I'm eating chicken and broccoli from the Chinese people from last night. Dog and cat. I, I bet y'all cough on you while you're sitting here. I didn't know that you could hear me under the dry out. I'm not deaf. to myself. Bo dog and cat. Bright gala. Thank you, Verna. Dog juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, dragon fruit, you said, right? Huh? Dragon fruit, you said? For the drink? Isn't yeah, dragon fruit. Even if it's dog on cat, meow, 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 meow. Mm -hmm. This one kind of shaped like the ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what that is. It's crisp granite. You feel the, you taste the gristle. Mm -hmm. That's cat dog's ear. Everything tastes like chicken anyway. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Food nice. Mm -hmm. I see the cats behind the restaurant running. Come out right now. It's a piece of fur, right? That's all. Whoa. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let me dip a little. I need a little sauce. You need sauce. Mm-mm. Roy. Mm-hmm. What about sauce, man? So I can start barking when I walk in my house? No, man. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Let me take out some of the sauce. But thank you anyway. It's so nice. So when you hungry, all that shit she talking, I don't mean nothing. Thank you, Dark and Lovely. soda. Mm -hmm. So watch your hot sauce. You can mm -hmm. Yes, I need some hot sauce too. Mm -hmm. Hot sauce is definitely needed for this. Some Grace hot sauce. Specifically, Grace Kennedy. Hey, she can't talk to me because she eats chitterlings. No, I don't. I do not eat pig shit. Anybody that eat chitterlings and hog and moss? Her. Pig shit. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. I do not eat chitlings. You can't chitterlings. come talk about my food and you eat chitterlings. Mm-hmm. Y'all <laughs> eat hot shit. No, sir. Let me take the dog. Yeah, you hear me, Alan? TK? <laughs> Mm-hmm. She gonna scratch me in the eyes. I ain't gonna be able to come to work next week. Any person that tell me they eat chitterlings and hogging moss, that one day. What you call that hogging what? Hogging moss. <laughs> <laughs> Not hog moss? Hogging moss. Hogging moss. Same thing. No. Hogging moss and chitterlings. Hog moss. But I do like pig ears. Pig ears are good. I made him hogs and neck bones and my greens. Like that's good, but I don't eat chitlins. I came up on it. 
Lies. Like my ex husband, when he came over to eat at my mom's house, I was so embarrassed because he was like, Did a sewer break or something here? My mom was cleaning shit <laughs> and he thought the sewer sewage pipe had broken. Exactly. And Anything that smells like sewage and you eating it. No, I sir. I had to explain to him what it was. I was so embarrassed. Not even good smell, sir. Hog and Maws and Chitterlings. Okay, booty, so. booty noodles? Really? <laughs> and my family is from Jamaica. When you have goats, hog, all that. Okay? Yeah, I'm still eating a lot. Mm -hmm, I'm full food. now. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Only thing I got left now is to belch. Yeah. Boy. Thank you for washing my hair. Oh, you're welcome. I'm only going to charge you $50. Hmm? No. What? I just said thank you. That doesn't mean I want it. Something. I'm only charging you $50. You charging me what? You better put all that build up back in my hair then and get down the drain and get that stuff. You better go open that drain and put all that build up back in my hair. Fifty dollars. I'm from Louisiana and I didn't see them until I got to Milwaukee. See? Mm -mm. Gracie, you knew that? She set me up. Okay, cool. I need to get mine done too, Crystal. Crystal, what is something? color she needs to get purple if I have gray hair she needs what's the best option I don't understand the question I guess what color purple dye she needs to get for her gray strands um what kind of brand I guess she needs perfect blonde it's called perfect blonde if you click the link in the description of this video it will show you my Amazon store where you can get the perfect blonde cake <laughs> see grace said for me to charge your ass of course grace is gonna say that grace is against me grace is my friend that's my aunt i don't know why she's against me grace is your aunt yes that's my aunt give discounts. It's either 50 or nothing. I'm going to bring her some Priscilla detergent. That's how I'm going to make my payments. She's been saying that since she told me she keep on. Uh -uh, but I told her I don't get Priscilla. So I'm going to do it just do for you her. Do white people hair? I do all people hair. When I started doing hair, I started on white people. Yes, that's the spelling of my name is Gibbs. Yes, hog and maws and chitterlings. They sell them at Save a Lot in the freezer. And it's a big old on the big old pack. It's a like chitterlings. How long sit on the dry after relaxer until you're dry? There's no time. For my 32 strands of hair, I'm usually under here for like 35 minutes. Can you really sit on an answer? Mm -hmm. So she can see. Mm. Yeah, my belly full now. Boy. What is booty noodles? You know what I used to do with chitterlings? Oh, they had the senior picnic at school when I was in high school, and I went to the Save a Lot where I was working at. Really, it was called More for Less. And I got a pack, and I let them thaw in my car. 
the day of the little senior picnic because they were doing senior pranks and stuff. I was, I was still a junior at that time. But I knew all the seniors and I was in, in um, TV production so I could participate. And I let them thaw first and then I put them in a plastic bag. And when we got to the field, they were nice and hot. And I started throwing them at people. That's what we were, that's, these are the kind of things we were doing in high school. It wasn't too nice. But I was throwing the chitterlings at people <laughs> while they were hot. Not hot as soa. And we were throwing chitterlings at people. Men on the chitterlings. Attempted murder. It got to be. You, I would never ingest that. Are you sure the statute of limitations is enough? How long ago you did that? That's attempted murder. You graduated in 2004. That was 2002. Oh, that was ages ago. Yeah, you're right. Ages ago. Oh, well. Ages ago. I was also in the class where they were throwing bleach at the school buses while you were sitting in your seat. So mm -hmm. it's all, there's no restraint. All things go on senior pranks. All things. One of the principals, they got, one boy got expelled the day before the last day of school before seniors and he went and he shit in a bag and threw it on him and ran. He was already expelled. We can't really do anything right. else. can't do nothing else to him. <laughs> he shit in a bag and threw it on him. Nothing else I could do. And you know I was going to a white school then. <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. Did I miss something? What was XC pudding? Did I mix something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Nina business. It was all fun and games. Where did I graduate? Dr. Phillips High School. No, I did not throw pig vowels. I threw chitterlings. There's That's a difference. The same thing. There's a difference. The name makes a huge difference. It's chitterlings, <laughs> not pig vowels. It's pig shit. Chitterlings. That was ages, ages ago. Yes, thousands and thousands of years ago, Peg. We weren't even thought about them when Krista graduated. What year you graduated? We talk about you right now. Exactly. Me. Go the, go we're, there. We're what year did talk, you graduate? We're not talking about me. Pack said something about you, so get on Pack. See? How many times was I in detention? Not many, because I knew how to get out of the detentions. I was friends with all the teachers. I was friends with student resources. The police officers that were at our school, he had a spare key to my car, because I always kept locking my key in the car. <laughs> so he always had a spare key. He knew my mom. All the administrators knew my mom. All the teachers knew my mom. So I never really got in trouble because I was just one of those kids. I was friendly with all the administration. Like, you got to know the right people. <laughs> so I would just, you know, they'll just laugh or they'll bring me in the office and act like they're doing something. And they're like, Miss Williams, now you know better. It was not, I never had issues. I was just Is my hair never dry one of those people. I don't know, girl. Your scalp might be dry. Oh, that's what I mean. I know my locks are your scalp feels dry. Can you use baking soda as well to detox? Absolutely, Mavis. Baking soda, lime, or lemon, and apple cider vinegar. I'm Arabian from Jordan, and I am a big fan of you. Are a fan. You are a professional. Keep going. Thank you. Charlotte, you said just privileged. I wasn't just privileged, but you know. Yes, you My mom is like me now. I know all the administrators at my kid's school. You have no reason to try my child without calling me because you know me. I got, I even got the headmaster's phone number. Sweetheart, let me text you because clearly you ain't answer my call, so we need to talk. Period. Mm -mm. I hate to see parents where you don't know nothing about your kid's school. You don't know nothing. <laughs> they could call your kid a liar. They could do anything they want, and you don't know nothing. You just believe these people. No, 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 no. Let's have a meeting about this, please. Yep, anytime you need. I'm an entrepreneur. I can be there at the drop of a dime. I, know, mm -hmm. I don't work for nobody, right? I don't, Ramso. My kids already know. Alex will email me real quick. Mommy, I'm going to get five demerits, and I don't know why. <laughs> and then I'll email her right back. Call me now, and she'll walk right out that classroom. Mommy, here's what happened. 
and then she'll tell me and here I go okay let me talk to such and such and then okay we're gonna go pull the camera and then okay you'll call me back you know we saw that and they you know the student was really wrong for what he did but Alex should not have dragged him down by his backpack that could have really hurt him but we understand that he shouldn't have done that first so we're not gonna give her the demerits but we do have to put a behavior notification that this incident happened okay sweetheart no problem but don't demerit naughty damn thing of my child demerits follow you a little behavior notification don't follow you when they're reporting to these schools how many demerits you have those count mm -hmm. alex don't play that alex will email me real fast mommy this is what happened and she'll put it in there and she already know she already knows exactly what's gonna happen now if they're wrong they're wrong but if I know that it's something that I need to know more about, I'm not just taking your word for it. It got to be a reason because my kids are not. You know what your kid does and what your kid doesn't do. You know your child. Like one day Alex calls me from school. No, she didn't call me because they like to email. But they can only email their parent, another child with the same email address in school or administration or teachers. So you have to be in their list. Or you have to have a RAMS email, which is a school email. If you're not a student, you're not going to have a school email. If you're not a teacher, you're not going to have a school email. She emails me. She's like, Mommy, and I can, I'm reading it the way Alex talks. Hi, Mommy. I kicked a girl today because she pushed my stuff over and she broke my backpack. That's all it said. So I emailed her back and I said, Alex, call me now. I didn't jump to conclusions because Alex, is not, Alex don't just pick up her foot and say she's going to kick someone. That's not her. So when she called me, I said, Alex, tell me what happened. She's like, Mommy, we were at, um, they call it Take 10 in the morning. We were at Take 10. And I don't know. The girl, she just came and she just had a really bad attitude. And she saw my stuff there and she kicked my stuff so she could sit down. But there was a bunch of chairs there that were open. So I said, so why did she kick your stuff? She's like, Mommy, I don't know. So when she kicked my stuff, Alex is very dramatic. Alex is like, I said, I said, you better pick my stuff up. She said, the little girl said, no, I'm not picking that up. And she proceeds to kick it again. Alex said when she moved her foot, Alex moved her foot and her foot landed on her leg. Like, you don't kick my stuff. So she kicked the little girl and she said she kicked her hard enough that her knee kind of went in. This is how <laughs> Alex was telling me. So Alex was like, well, Mr. Bailey saw me and he said he's going to give me some demerits. He's going to write me up. And I said, well, we're going to see who's going to write you up. So I call the school back after I talk to Alex and I'm like, hey, such and such and such and such and such, blah, 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 Ray, Ray, Ray. Okay, we're going to pull the cameras. They have cameras everywhere except the bathroom. They have a camera pointing towards the bathroom, but they don't have cameras in the bathroom. So they can rewind whatever sector they're in, wherever they are. He calls me back. He's like, hey, we saw the camera. She literally walked up and kicked herself and we don't really know why. So we're not going to give her any demerits. We're just gonna just write it up that the other little student or whatever did whatever and Ray 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 and she's gonna get the demerits. Exactly. You're not gonna write my kid up because you just saw it at that moment. No. No. Middle business moment. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Christian is probably the one that got written up the most last year. Thank the Lord this year was a 360. Last year, I swear them people called me three, four times a week. I started to get anxiety. Yeah, we're calling you because you, you have to come and pick him up. You know, he got a little physical on the playground playing some game called Infection. First and foremost, why y'all got a game called Infection? <laughs> There's no summer body detox available right now. Tell me why y'all are playing a game called Infection. That's my first question. So Christian is very competitive. Oi, excuse me. Christian is very competitive. He takes it to heart. Christian said he tries to, he has to go down. They had something called a little rabbit hole and the boy did this and he did this and then he did this and then the boy did that. And the little boy called him a name and he said, I, I'm not going to let him call me a name. So I pushed him, mom. <laughs> and that was it. And because I knew he was wrong, I didn't whoop him for it, but he lost something. Now, if it's bad and I know you did wrong, y'all, you know something to slip for both a child ass. But we try not to do that too often. Is other ways. Junie says that there's other ways to skin a cat. Mm hmm Because my answer is for most everybody else. Like the ones you're just eating. Mm hmm Let me get your paper. So it's not that I, I don't trust administration, but I question everything. I'm, I'm, you got to explain. Because nowadays, it's all in perception. It's all in what you think about a child now. It's not about what they did all the time. 
Hey, Julian. I'm going to cash up it to you. The same one or you started one finally? No, same one. Huh? Actually, no. Actually, I think I have cash. Can you do my hair? Can you back to my bag? Do I have a time for what? Where is that? It's in the cabinet. Hmm? I mean, me personally, the game called Infection should not have been a game in the first place. Okay, it is a pandemic. You're talking about you giving somebody an infection. That is foolishness. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Mm-hmm. Mind you, you know, he's only the one of... Give me them back. Let me get some real ones. Give me them back. Give me the real ones first. You're petty as hell. I'm professional. Remember, it's business. Christian, if you look at Christian's class picture, out of all 50 of them in that class, he's the one dark, dark one. <laughs> And he's not even dark, dark. And then there's some lighter skinned two of them. So it's only three of them. He's one of the three. And Christian stayed on somebody's list last year. But they expected him to come back this year and be the same way. This year, Christian did a whole 360 on them. My baby has A's and B's. Last year, all he had was D's and F's. This year, all A's and B's. If not more A's than B's. His behavior is impeccable this year. Every week he gets Ram Bucks. Every week he gets Sunshine Slips. Now he gets his little lemons here and there, but it's, it's like death to him when he gets them because he's just like, oh my gosh. When he gets in the car, mom, this is what happened today. We were playing this game at thing, and then he came and he dog slid me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he dog slid me. So when he dog slid me, I did done. Mm -mm. I'd be like, okay, son. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't want to hear that all the time. Mm-mm. They used to call me every Friday and give me um, behavior reports till one day I had to tell the lady when she called me that Friday, I said, ma'am, let me tell you something. I said, you call me every Friday to tell me everything bad that Christian did this weekend. You have not one thing positive to say that he's done all week. Don't call me no more. I don't care about it. And when she was so surprised when I said, I don't care. I said, I don't care. Now she don't talk to me. I don't care about that either. You call me every week to tell me everything bad, but you have nothing good that you wrote down. And I know that he's not bad six times out of the day. So that means that all you care about is the negative. You have no positive reinforcement for him whatsoever. So will y'all call me and tell me? Something that I already knew. Yeah, he was in art today and she told him to put his pencil down and he wouldn't put his pencil down. Bitch, come get off my fucking phone. If you, if you don't get the hell off my phone, stop calling me with that. Stop, stop calling me with all of that. Like, you calling me with stupid stuff. Call me if he threw a chair at somebody or something, and you never do. Call me if he pulled a fire alarm. Call me if he spit on someone. Call me if he did something that really makes sense. You calling me about a pencil. You calling me about something that's stupid, that an eight and nine year old does. Like, why are you calling me about that? To the point where I stopped telling Junie about it, because Junie just be looking at me stupid like, what? Take him out to the school. <laughs> that's his answer. Take him out. Take him out. <laughs> They're targeting him. Take him out. And it began to note, I started noticing that it was a targeting. It was targeting. It was stereotyping. It was all of that. He's the only little boy in your school who's not adopted by Caucasian people that's African American. And he's one little boy that all of a sudden it's like, get him, get him, get him. Just get him. Everything was just get him. That is ridiculous. To the point where he started questioning himself. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. And it's not always about a race card, but in his case, it definitely assumed to be. It definitely looked exactly that way. It really was. It was, it was serious. It was bad. It was like you, to the point where I know someone that actually works at that school. And this person tells me something that happened on the playground. 
and Christian was not the aggressor on the playground, but because the other little boy's mother is an attorney. And that attorney donates so much to the school and does so much for the school, you wouldn't call his mom to come get him and he was the aggressor, but you'd call me to come get Christian. And you see the day I found that out, the plan for them ass, man. This year, them, they know they can't call me. They don't look at Miss Miss Williams. Oh my gosh, how are you? <laughs> and I get him this look. Hey, I'm good. How are you? Oh, okay, great. And then I walk off. Sometimes I not even answer them. I just walk past them. Thank you, ass. My son is only there for the education, and that is all. I'm no business about nothing else. I pay tuition. He's paid up. We don't owe you a dollar. That's just paid cash every month. Have a great day. Don't come talk to me about nothing. Mm mm. Y'all did him so dirty last year, but this year God had a plan. Because Christian's behavior is impeccable this year. To the point where y'all didn't even know what to say. Mm hmm. Very privileged. Mm hmm. So now. Now, any little thing, I'm on y'all. Christian come home and say, Ray, me a se fe. Yeah, that's me. You want to have a meeting? Sure, let's do it. Right now. Hmm? Oh, I didn't send you December yet? I'll send it to you today. My son was little and picked on by older kids. He had a growth spurt, and now those pickers keep their distance from him. Exactly. I will send it to you later today. Shade said bye, you guys. Bye. Okay, don't forget. Otherwise, I will be a no-call, no-show. Bagger. <laughs> mm -hmm. You going to the dumpster? Huh? You going to get some penny stuff? Uh, no. Oh, you're, you're kind of overdone now, huh? Because the videos keep popping up. You got so much. Right, right. They said bye. Be careful. See ya. I'm sorry. Oh, she's still on there. You know, they used to give me bad. Like last year, I had so much anxiety with that school last year. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. Every email that came, it was a behavior notification about nothing. I'm talking like y'all used to document the dumbest stuff. Yeah, we were in PE today and we told him to put the ball away and he didn't listen to us. So we're going to demand, give him a demerit. What? They're eight. I say come eat dinner seven times and you don't come. What? No, Vanette, I told you I wasn't twisting no locks, girl. They were trying to push me out. You're right. But see, this year now, I'm a veteran now. They already know. I know what I know. They already know I take things very far, real far. They already know I will pop up. Hey, I wanted to talk with Don. I don't call people by last name because guess what? Mia Uno is on the same level. Hey, I'd like to speak to Don. That's the principal. Mina know you by your last name. We are the same. Hey, Beverly, I'm not really understanding what's happening here. The miss. Mina business about that. We on the same level now. Y'all tried me. Y'all tried me real hard. And when it's your first year, you're so, you're so timid to everything. Now, timid to what? Why? Hey, I noticed that his homework is coming home, but I noticed that you have them doing it at school. I'm not really understanding why. I question everything. I don't itch. They're very strict. They're strict with who they want to be strict with. There's a difference. At the beginning, you're always going to be timid. But you see, now, because I know what I know, I know who I am, 
I know what I am. I'm very firm. I'm very confident in who I am. My kids are very confident in who they are. They're very well spoken. They know how to speak to adults and not disrespectful children. At this point in life, sweetheart, we are on the same level, meaning me and them, not my children and them. Me and them. Once I found out what they were doing, where kids that really needed to be sent home, kids that really needed to be having, like, needed to have behavior notifications and all of that written. Once I found that out, that you pick and choose who you do it to, well, because this parent is an attorney and you know she challenges everything with her law degree and her very well put emails. Well, see, I don't have a law degree, but I know how to write an email. I'm in a tear your dog and I want to email mine. I know how to eat you alive. I know how to make you feel like a little piece of speck on the floor through an email. I don't have to have the law degree to do that. That's simple. Or, hey, this one, your, their parent is a judge. This one, their parent is this. This one, their parent is that. Okay, so what's the point? What, I do work at McDonald's or something? We don't have class. We don't have stature. You see us pulling. You ever see my son come to your school dirty? You ever see my, come, my son come to school with his hair not combed? You ever seen him missing something from his backpack? You ever seen him go on a field trip without his mother or his father? Exactly. So I don't understand. Every field trip, one of us is going. It never fails. We never itch on that on any one of my children. Now the girls, they're a little bit older and we try to let them be teenagers. The girls, we try to let them be teenagers and we let them go on their field trips here and there. Like when Alex go to DC this year, who gonna be on that flight with, with Alex? Crystal, just like I was with Adriana. I'm not a part of your field trip, but your mother's there. I don't have to be with you, but I'm sitting there. I was the only parent that flew there on the same flight as my child and stayed in the same um, hotel as my child. Okay, I was the only one. I didn't pay to go on y'all trip, but I made sure that I was there. We flying together, honey. I'm not sending my kid to another state or city or district with people that I barely know. No, I've never been that parent. I vowed that I would never do that. My daughter knew every night she came to the hotel, she'd come for food, she got good food. That little nasty chicken tenders they were giving her, uh-uh. If they went to dinner, I was at dinner too. I might be next door. If you downtown, okay, no problem. I'm downtown too. Just not with you. Mm-hmm. Vivian, please tell me what, what to do. Because, yes, I do have a big problem with that. With the Amazon receipts on my fetch. It doesn't work. It doesn't pick up anything Amazon. I don't know why. Carvella, yes, girl. Look at that. Why I just got nine more people signed up for Fetch, and I got a total of 49,000 points. Did I not say I wanted 100,000 points today? I have 114,000 points on my Fetch. Did I not say that, that I wanted to have at least 100,000 points by the end of today? Let me tell you about manifestation. Pow. I'm at 114,000 points. Mm-hmm. dry <laughs> look y'all right there a hundred and fourteen thousand points You I received my moon spice today. It didn't have a label on it. It should have a label on it. Every moon spice had a label on it. Bets, can you send us an email with a picture of that? Because I labeled every one of them myself. So I want to make sure. Send me a picture of it, please. Or the label might have come off in your box. Is the label in your box? If the jar has any form of anything on it, the label can come off. So can you send me a picture of it?
All right, let me curl my hair and get out of here. Yeah, Charlotte, send me a picture of it, please. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. Mine's had a pretty label because I received mine today. So Charlotte, I just wanna make sure. So send me a picture of yours because I thought all of them were labeled. So I just wanna make sure. I don't think Crystal saw the one about the receipts. Uh... You have to make the font smaller in the default. I just scanned my Amazon receipts. So you're supposed to scan it. No, it's supposed to do it through your email. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, mines are not uploading. I don't know why. Thank you, Pearlene.
Thanks, Grace, for telling them. Arms tired. Question, Crystal. Do I need the perfect blonde shampoo if my hair dyed purple in any form? If I get my hair dyed... No, if you get your hair dyed purple, then... I mean, you don't really need the perfect blonde. It's only for the gray hair. That's if you don't dye your hair. That's the only time Perfect Blonde is gonna work. Thank you.
Maria, I shop on Amazon a lot. Can you tell me how I can scan those receipts? You have to pair your Amazon. So when you first sign up for Fetch, you're going to put your email address. You're going to log into your Amazon. It gives you a place to log into your Amazon. And then it will help you upload your... It'll automatically upload your Amazon receipts. But I'm having an issue. It's not uploading my receipts from my Amazon. So, I don't know. Like... Fetch has a help thing too, you guys. So I'm not a Fetch pro or anything. I just try to give you the knowledge that I have. No, my clients are done for the day. So I'm just doing my hair now. But I'm done with my clients. Finito. This is the part that I always hate doing, the little side part. That thing hot. Ooh, lordy. That thing hot. Ugh.
can't really see back there, so I'm just trying to make it happen. Ooh, this thing gonna burn. goddess polish turn off my irons all done
just let it go with me. Send this back. You guys, give me a second. I've got to go to the bottom. Alright you guys, so we are out of here. Please don't forget to go and shop the Elite Weekend sale. Um, no code is needed for that sale. So we have our BOGO deals. The link is in the description box, which is the first link you guys see once you hit um, more after the, the chat, if you close your chat. And then you'll see the links down in there. Um, that first link will take you to all of my links, all of them, okay? So you'll be able to shop the sale. You'll be able to go to my Amazon store to Flames Up. For those of you that want to get the bundle kit, which is the King, the Duke, and the Knight, where you get all three for $29, that link is in there. My Amazon store for my different tools, my um, flat irons, all of that. Wow, look, I got baby here. Mm -mm. Too damn grown for baby here. Hold on. Oh, look, I got baby here. I don't know that baby here. But yes, <laughs> all of those links are in there, you guys. Every last one of them um, are in there. I actually signed up to be a Sephora affiliate, so hopefully they will. Oh, yeah, pull my collar out. Thank you, June. Um, hopefully they'll accept my application because I, I feel like I sell so much of their lip gloss. It's ridiculous. So it's the only one that I wear now actually so i can use my affiliate money from sephora to buy more lip gloss mm -hmm. that lip gloss is pot honey. <laughs> all right let me lock up my door i pulled it out thank you june bye pack love you thank you grace thank you pack I think Octavia is at work, but to Octavia as well. My father, Julian, my Canada distributor. Thank you to everybody. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Carvella. Oh, Lordy. So I am out of here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my weekend until Monday when we go back to process orders. But you guys know how that go. Your hair looks beautiful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Vivian. Yeah, I'm out of here. Items you suggested to my card. All right, Marsha. And say that it's out of stock. You can't get it. Thank you guys. Love you all. You guys be safe. Enjoy your Saturday. Don't shop too much, but shop enough. I don't know why I park under this tree. Knowing that this tree is going to drop every leaf on my car. It look like I didn't even touch my car. Like my car not even washed. I don't know why I chose to park under here.
Little car was looking nice and clean earlier. I won't be parking under that tree again, I know that. Woohoo, 5,000 points. Yes, Maria. Told you guys. And look at it this way on Fetch. Yeah. Money, they're just rewarding you with some points towards things that you can use on the regular Amazon, Starbucks, restaurants. Why not? I mean, if not, guess what you do with the receipts? Throw them away. So why not scan the receipt, then throw it away so that you can gain points and things that you that you like. Out. Oh.